Here we go. Woohoo. Exciting. Random. Indeed. But everyone's doing tier lists these days, so you know you're like, hey, let's let's do one. I thought that this one was actually kind of a funny one, because you can sort of just look back and be upset about how wrong everything is. Absolutely. There's so many I mean, uh, people of the mindset that are like, why do you still watch the show, though? And it's like, what up? <laughs> yeah, we got the people who are like, why do you still watch it? And then on the other side, it's the people who are like, huh, it's always been bad. And then on another side, it's like, if you don't like it, then don't watch it. Yeah, there's a, a nice selection of every possible perspective. Mine is just, um, I was always going to see it through, I think. Yeah. I wonder, I don't know if, like, would you have continued if there were going to be a, a season 9 at this point? You mean, like, with the exact same season that we've been getting? Yeah, or? like, and this season ends with, uh, John, I don't know. Yeah, literally, like, Cersei and Darius die, and then season 9 is all about how the, the kingdom recovers or something, I don't know. Uh, it would have been almost impossible for me to keep going after this season. Especially after the old Azar high shit. I, I was just thinking about it myself. <laughs> it so. was a completely different show, maybe, but uh, yeah, not not at this point. Um, but yes, welcome, peoples of the world, to me and Wolf ranking the characters of Game of Thrones. Uh, can you see my my? You can actually make custom like ranking things. Got a. So S A B C D F. Then the lowest rank is Rickon tier, because that's just like I don't know if there's anybody <laughs> worse than Rickon, but we'll fi we'll find that out. And you then know what's funny is that Rickon had more lines in Dracula Untold than he did <laughs> yeah. in all of Game of Thrones. Oh boy! <laughs> everyone's <laughs> doing the fucking. Character. Everyone's doing the <laughs> meme like, where it's like, look what they did to my boy with like every single thing to do with Game of Thrones. Uh. I just love, I don't know, even in the books, what does Rickon do? Yeah, well, see, the thing about it is, he, his, well, it's called a sh shaggy dog, and the shaggy dog story in, like, movie tropes and stuff is the trope, is, is the story of, like, a character that has loads of scenes that are essentially meaningless, and their story comes to no purpose, they just die, or they don't do anything. Like, that, like that was the purpose of Rickon. But I mean, I, th I just, I find myself wondering, it's like, what, but, what's the point? <laughs> like, like, yeah, you nailed wasn't, it. Uh, I, I might be misremembering this, but wasn't Davos in the books, like, just about to go save Rickon from somewhere horrible, and then the books never really explained why it was horrible? And, uh, I'm pretty hmm. sure that was like a cliffhanger that was supposed to be sealed up in the new book, but it's been a long time. They'll get to it eventually. No, they won't. But yeah, no, won't. Uh, so do you want to start with candidate number one? Now, how are we ranking this exactly? Oh, right, yeah. So there's choices. You could do where they rank at their best, where they rank at a particular season cutoff, or where they rank currently as a whole. I don't um. know what else we could do about that. So when we're saying which one is the best... Because a lot of them are good for different reasons. Like, you can't really compare a character like Tywin to a character like Jon. That is true. I don't know. Chat, what are your ideas? How do we... What do we do? Like, character... What does it even mean, a character at the best? Like, the most complicated... Because it's going to be too subjective to the point where you say interesting character. But we could just do that and see if we, we come to a relative agreement. Like a combo okay. of interesting and well written, because uh, like Geo Mormont, there's nothing wrong with him. He hasn't been written badly in any way, shape, or form. But he's not too complicated. He's sort of just old commander, and he he fights for good things and then gets backstabbed. So it's like he's not that interesting. He's fine. Yeah. But then there's characters that are super interesting, like Tyrion, but they're just fucked in the later seasons to the point where he's just an idiot. And you're like, okay. In which case, we're just gonna have to go by season two and season three, Tyrion. <laughs> yeah, but we can't. We gotta. I think we have to consider all seasons. Mm. Season ranks. We can't do like a season. <laughs> like, <laughs> one of these for every if we, season. If we just pretend that seasons four, five, six, or no, five, six, seven, and eight didn't happen. 
Like, should we just figure this out as we go along? So, um... So, Brandon Stark, where does he go? Oh, way, way toward the bottom. Yeah, I know. He, especially in his current state. He's not even a character in his current state. What is he, aside from King? He says things that are like, ooh, is that a thing that was strange? Look at that. Check that out. What could I mean, that I'm mean? I'm even trying to think of what he's done in, like, the earlier seasons. And I can't think of anything aside from getting pushed out a window and then immediately becoming a nothing character. Was he ever a character? I mean, he's, he's sort of a character. I mean, there, there, there was something there when he was like a kid climbing the walls of Winterfell, and then that ended immediately. And when Theon was like, I've taken Winterfell, and he's like, no, you won't. You'll never take it. And even if you try, we'll throw you out. Like he was like a mini... Doc. Oh yeah, uh, I don't remember the the character's name, but the dude that Theon beheads. Um, oh, uh, again, that's that's not really based upon the guy with the crazy sideburns. Yeah, I feel like I should know this, especially since the books Lo are uh, Castellan something Castellan, I think, or Castell. Mm. Rod uh, Roderick? Roderick. Yeah, Roderick, Roderick Castell. Castell, Castell yeah. that's the one. Sir Roderick. Rolric, as uh, fucking Tyrion calls him, I think. Rolric, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm I'm happy with F tier. Like he's almost yeah. worthless. He's very close to worthless. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> that's Sorry. awkward. The next one is fucking Tyrion. Oh, where do you go right now? Like the immediate. Fuck, because. I want to think <laughs> just Tyrion season two, but then I have to take into account. This Tyrion thing, he would be S tier. After. Like I fucking love him in season one and two, and then three and four, he's struggling to like stay afloat, which is interesting. And then he you know loses his mind. But like the other half of Game of Thrones, he's just fucking wobbling around, not really doing anything. Does that put him at like a yeah. B or a C? I want to go a C to be safe. Um, how does chat feel about this? We've got A's, B's, D's, B. You're welcome all to vote. You'll be able to sway me and Wolf's uh, perspective, because you know that by the time we finish this, this will be the official, definitive take that everyone in the planet will adopt. You guys Absolutely. know this could never change. Oh, most people are saying B's, then. What do you reckon, Wolf? Hmm. Did you say C to be safe? Yeah, because... Uh, well, he really did start to go toward season three and four he wasn't quite gone he was still interesting but then everything after four was horrid i loved it in season i think it's four where he gets drunk says i am the god of tits and wine <laughs> i was like yeah because it's a reference good shit yeah. um it is beast you know it would probably be between b and c that's probably why we're struggling with this mm -hmm. um be like a B minus. Yeah. I'm gonna leave him in B. I feel like who knows, he might recover by the end of this season to at least do something. Next <laughs> no. up is Maester Grand Maester Picel. Oh Jesus. I actually really like Picel. <laughs> you know what's really bad is the one my favorite scene with Picel is deleted. Have you seen it where he talks to Tywin? Oh yeah, the one the one where he like lets the whole mask drop and uh, he just talks to Tywin like normal. Yeah, like, uh, tell her, can we be playing D tier? Like, why? There's nothing wrong with him. He, he never does anything that's, uh, his whole thing is he's cowardly and tries to stay under the radar in order to live for the longest. And he pretty much did achieve that. He just, uh, yeah, but he didn't really people. offer anything. Beyond no, he doesn't. Being he... An in I mean, he's an interesting character, but he's not exactly a good character beyond the interest. Are we going with, like, the fact that he has, like, no impact, really? Yeah. He's he mainly there to be annoying. Yeah. Like a pawn of Cersei. Well, he's the pawn of the Lannisters, isn't he? So where would you yeah. put him, then? C tier? I'd put him... i put him... I'm gonna say C, because he's not offensively bad. Mm-hmm. But he's not good, so I'm gonna go with C. I'm happy with C. Forgot the scene where he farts. I don't remember that one. When, Which scene was that one? I I remember the scene where he got his beard cut off. Mm -hmm. And the scene where and he the like, scene where he got stabbed. 
Man, that was creepy. All the kids and dwarves oh, sta yeah. stabbing him. It was like, oof. All the little birds. Um, Alright, Hodor. Oh, A tier. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the not. thing. I'd, I'd say B. I think we have to, like, ignore bad writing for this and take all of the writing as if it's, like, just a things that happened and that they did happen to be able to judge these characters. Because I don't think there's anything wrong with Hodor. He's just, um, you know, he's Hodor. <laughs> so, hey, he held the door, man. He did hold the door. Are we thinking C then or B? Ooh, I'm saying B. E T F Hodor. Least, yeah, because at least Hodor did something and like went out like a champ. Doesn't have much of a character though. Oh no, but he's also retarded, so you can't really blame him. That's you know what? That's fair enough. He's as good of a character as he can be for his position. I, he I think tries be his best. Way. Okay. Rank he gets is Hodor. <laughs> um... <laughs> Renly Baratheon. Mm, he died before I even really got to know. Yeah, who early he was. season two, stabbed by a vagina but he, demon. He did, yeah, but he did have the. He was the smart one because if Ned Stark listened to mm -hmm. him, so much shit would have just not happened. So I want to give him credit for being an intelligent one. I feel like so, we could have liked him a lot if he'd stayed around for a bit longer. Yeah. He was an, I liked his character until he died. He's ceremony. gay, that's like, his character. He's more than just <laughs> the gay. He he was the only one who was rational enough to tell Ned Stark, like, hey, let's just take it because you know it's gonna go down. I'd say I'd say a solid B. Solid B. Huh? I think that's relatively. Um then we got Roz. One that most people would forgot as well, because she died in season three. She was the the whore from Winterfell who went to King's Landing, worked for Littlefinger and then Varys, and then got killed by Joffrey. I genuinely don't remember this one. <laughs> She's not got a lot of character. What's uh hold on, I need to look. How do you spell her name? R O S, I think. Wow. And she was uh, invented for the show, I don't believe she's in the book. Roz. Was she the one that he, like... Oh, that one. What did she do? <laughs> okay, so she <laughs> slept with Tyrion and Theon, and then there was, like, a, a joke about how, like, Theon kind of was, like, partially in love with her. And he was, and he was like, you could be the... Oh, she was the one that, like, lifted her skirt for him. Yeah, and then she ends up in King's Landing, where she... Rises up through the whore ranks, I think, with like the whore ranks. with little finger. She's like the boss of the whores, and then she sees the whole thing where the Baratheon kids are getting executed. Oh right! And when the... loses her shit, and little finger's like, "Lol, if you lose your shit, I'm gonna just gonna kill you. So you better get used to this sort of thing." Uh... And then Varys hires her to spy, and then little finger sells her to Joffrey to be killed, essentially. Mm, yeah. I mean, aside from that, I mean, she doesn't really have any impact on the show, and she's so forgettable. I'm gonna say F. F? I was gonna say D, just because, you know, nothing really happens with her, but just, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, with, so F tier, I imagine, is like, like we said, Brand doesn't even have a character. <laughs> well, she didn't really have much of a character either. Well, the fact that she was... The whole upset about all the shit that happened and then she chose to betray Littlefinger. That's something. Yeah, but... Mm. And then she died for it, you know. I don't know. I, th I think that's slightly more interesting. Maybe because there's so many characters I should introduce another tier between... I'll, I'll put one below Roz and call it uh, minus, I guess. Tier between tiers. Yeah, give that a D minus and then we'll put one here. It. E minus, I guess. As long as you can see most of it, that'll work. Um, so wait, who was in B minus if we did this? Was it? Oh, it was Grand Maester uh, Pycelle, right? Oh yeah, yeah, it was Pycelle. Do you think we'd move any of the people in B right now to B minus? 
I'm I'm on the edge of putting Tyrion there. Also, yeah, that is right. I should have just called this Tier E. Apparently, I'm retarded. Um, E F G. Yeah, that. Uh, what did you say? Sorry. I'm kind of on the edge of putting Tyrion there, but I don't know. Hmm. What do you think, chat? You know, E is a thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you use one through nine? Oh, I don't know, because this, this is how it is at default. They have numbers, uh, letters. But Hodor and Hodor tier cannot do that. Only the two best and worst get to do that. Uh, look how they slaughtered Tyrion. E triple A Renly B minus. You think? What do you think, Wolf? Mm, I, I don't know. I I think Renly is a pretty solid B. But taking into account what they did with Tyrion, I really feel like he's a B minus. I mean, I'm inclined to agree with you. I, I I kind of feel like it's a bit much that we put him in B. But for anybody who's like late joining this thing, they'll probably be like, "What are you? What is this? Why are they there? You have to go back for all the rationales, people." <laughs> like, Tyrion, Tyrion was are a great character. Are you making this unlisted or keeping it? Oh, I'm probably gonna put it on Moolah. I figure that makes sense because it's, it's ah, the EFAP gotcha. format as well on the stream. That's um. Fair all right, Sansa is next. Oh God, C. E. What will be your reasoning for that? Mm. Fuck, that was. I don't know. Because I was gonna say, like, honestly, I think she's like one of the I, higher I tier see. ones. I don't really like her personally, but she's got a lot going for her in terms of. The, the history and then the journey being a protege of Cersei, then Littlefinger, then Ramsay. Finally, like, growing into this tactician. I'm actually hoping she cracks some kind of plan in the end of the two episodes. To make a payoff for actually doing something. Because I don't know if you remember, yeah. but when they had her, like, exiting Lysa and all that shit in the, in the Reach, and they gave her the new outfit, it was like, she's a new woman. And then she just gets made into, like, a victim for the next two seasons again. I was like, okay. But now she seems to actually be in control, and I like her button heads with uh, Daenerys. Even, even beyond to an extent. I, I feel know. like if she didn't have that, that thing with Daenerys, though, she wouldn't be as interesting. Yeah, but I think it makes sense that both of them are in those positions. She wants the best for the North. She's useless. Mm. She might be useless. She seems to be planning something. And in, in fairness, she did get Littlefinger killed. That is a thing that happened. It's not exactly a good thing. Oh no, I think it's a terrible thing, but it it's something that her character achieved. This is what I mean. I'm yeah. trying to look at it as instead of focusing on about how bad the writing is, like looking at it on the surface of these events that took place, what these characters are. Yeah. Uh, um. This is genuinely a tough one. <laughs> We got such a wide range in chat. Uh, B C B G C A B C B what do you minus. Have a G here? What the fuck, chat? <laughs> F Renly equals C. Uh, e B C C F. Rick on tier. You saved the battle of the bastards. That is true. Well, that's true. I mean. I would consider, you know what, I was about to say, I'd consider putting her in A, but then I'm like, no, we've got so many good characters to get to that there's no way she'd get into A. You want to leave her in B minus? I mean B, sorry, or? Um, I, 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 I'm leaning toward B minus. It's so weird to have her and Renly here there as well. Such a different set of information. It's weird to remember Renly was a thing. What a thing? Do you think we maybe put him too high? I don't know. Huh. Maybe I mean, B minus. He is in Hodor's tier, you know? Yeah. Alright, so if we drag Renly and Sansa down to B minus, uh, who out of these four could be a C, if any? Or are they all B minuses? Mm, C would be Pycelle, probably. But Pycelle is a C. Yeah, although, I don't know, because maybe Renly deserves to be a C, because even though he's not bad, he never did anything aside from <laughs> die by yeah. the vagina. Got Sansa is a C, Pycelle is a C. Oh, a lot of people are saying Pycelle is a C. All right, I think I think we can move. It seems, seems to be relatively understood that way. Sansa is A, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, so, all right, She's I think we'll we'll try and change these as we go. We'll see how it goes. But next up is Gio Mormont. Ooh, I want to go with a solid B. I think we. I think he's Hodor material. I like everything that he stands for. <laughs> it's a lot of. If, if we could go up to the characters and be like, "You're on par with Hodor," <laughs> he'd probably be like, "What?" Hodor tier. You require. You need to be a stocky gentleman. You need white hair. <laughs> you gotta. You gotta not be in it. I'm sure. Say a lot. I'm oh. sure if we told Hodor that he'd just be like, "Oh, Hodor." Yeah. It's, uh... That's my boy, A. I thought well, this is the thing. We're we're gonna get to good characters soon, I'm sure. Oh, Joffrey. Oh God, A. I feel like he's A tier. He was great. So consistent. He was way too good. Was so much shit to happen. That was a nightmare. Such an asshole. Just... I mean, I I just remember like the first time I saw the show, the whole bring me his head, like when he killed Ned Stark, like that fucked me up for a while. Oh yeah. I was like, wait, he's the main character though. Joffrey, please. <laughs> <laughs> Solid A for Joe. Yeah, most oh, okay. people in chat say it. A. All right, next up, uh, I have forgotten her name. Person from Volantis that Rob falls in love with. Oh, uh, she had a different name in the show. Yeah. What did they call? Was her name Jane in the show? No, no. I know there was Jane Poole in the books. What they call? What? The oh, fuck Talisa. Did they call? That was. It. Oh. Um, I only remember her as Rob's wife that gets stabbed. Well, I think she's very much on Raw's tier. Barely had a character. Yeah, aside from dying. Like, I like her. Fine. But like, we could have... the most. I think the scene we got the most out of it was when her and Rob were talking about, like... Sending a letter Naming or something? Kid. Yeah, and that, oh. and that. Yeah. Not much. The kid, Ned. I don't remember her name. She's below brand tier. I don't want... That could just be me, though. Um, ooh, Brienne, oof. Oh. This is potential S rank. She's gotten, her story is relatively undamaged from, uh, Nate. Wait, what, what does S rank mean? Just really, really good. <laughs> like, ah, gotcha. I really like Brienne's story from start to finish, especially with yeah. her getting knighted recently. That was like one of the only good things to come out of season eight so far is the knighting scene. Most of chat is saying A, what do you reckon, all? Ah, oh, I'm really hovering between A and S, because she's really good. Seems hardly any S's in, uh, in chat. I think she's definitely an A. I don't know, I guess because S rank is going to have people like Olena Tyrell, and um, probably Oberyn Martell. Um, not sure who else at this point. Tywin. Tywin's got his own tier. <laughs> Tywin's got his own- oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'd say a safe A, and I mean we've changed. Our we might, yeah, we might put times, her in so. S once we go on. Al Drogo. Mm, aside from being the dude that rapes Daenerys and then dies, he's not. I was gonna really say, anything. I think we're looking at D tier. He's kind of useless. Like I like what him. But yeah, but that's also just because it's Jason Momoa, and Jason Momoa is very difficult not to like. Yeah, like, come on, chat. Is it just that you like Jason Momoa, or is it like how how great is this character? Looking at D's, E's, A's, B's. You know, Drogo is hot. Me, <laughs> I I cannot actually believe that out of this whole show, Brienne is like my favorite character. Well, w w w every other good character is dead, so, <laughs> so that's, that's the problem. But yes, dead you're right. Ruined, yeah. Dead or ruined. Um. I would go with a D. Yeah, same. Because, I mean, sure, he kills people, but he didn't kill anybody relevant. Aside, well, no, he did kill... Hmm. Killed the assassin dude? No, wait. No, no, killed, no. killed uh, uh, Viserys. Yes, he did kill Viserys, you're right. Although, he wasn't exactly much of a threat. He yeah, just I think, kind of, I think like, we're bitched the whole season. The D tier is very clear right now as characters that are sort of in the show but don't really do anything and aren't really that badly written or anything. It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't Let's got see. anything for E tier yet. The Hound. Oh. This could be S tier, actually. Because I was about to say, Brienne's got a little bit of damage, being that she just cries her eyes out as Jamie leaves, which was kind of annoying. Oh, yeah, that was. Which is why I think I might be comfortable with leaving her an A, but the Hound, is there anything wrong with the Hound? 
No, I even liked his uh, interaction with Sansa last episode, as much as last episode sucked. Mm -hmm. Loads of A's for the Hound. Hound could be A as well, I just, I'm curious if there's anything actually wrong with him. I can't think of anything that happened to his character. He's been pretty consistent. Mm, and I really enjoy him, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. But he's a good guy. I would, I would actually go with S. We'll, we'll have him in S until we decide he's not in S. Oh god, Lysa Aaron. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. This is D or E, F. surely. F? I mean, she's better than Bran. Or, or, or yeah, actually, she did. She, she has a character. Technically. And she starts yeah, the Game she, of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, pretty much she is the re Well, how much can we attribute that it's, to her rather than Littlefinger? Since yeah, that's true. I, I mean, I'm it. not saying it counts for a lot. I'm just saying it counts for more than Bran. <laughs> yeah. Mm. E. I'm going with E. I'm happy with E, I think. What, what are the faults with her? Is it just because she's so repugnant? That's definitely the biggest one. Um, she doesn't do anything aside from follow Littlefinger's orders. Because that's the thing, you can't really attribute the success of Littlefinger to her. Yeah. Sure, she technically did it, but he was the one that told her to do it. Do you, think, with do you think she's kind of on the, the level of the D-grade characters, though? And we just don't like her? Well, what would separate uh, an E from a D? I guess <clears throat> they only ever, like, do one thing. Because the, the D characters kind of did one thing. And, like, mm. Lysa certainly did one thing. <laughs> yeah... Okay, we'll put her D. We'll leave her in D for now, unless unless chat feels that's unfair. She's E at best. Oh well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll try and level it out. We'll give it an overview once we once we're done. So, uh, Gilly, Ooh, what does she do aside from cry? Uh, she has a few good scenes when they go to the Tali family. Sure. You get to finally actually understand a bit about her beyond. And she's, you know, she has some good things she says with Sam and stuff. She's like, she's probably a D grade well, again. Well, yeah, I mean, she does, she says things, but does she do things? Oh, does, are you saying that this might be our first E grade? Because she's not really... Yeah. I don't think she commits to any I actions. Really, yeah, it's not that I really dislike her as a character. It's just that she doesn't do anything. I mean, yeah, I downright kind of like her, but she does bugger all. She's kind of just Sam's girlfriend with a baby. Someone said she fits in the skins. Well, barely now. Oh, uh, skins is a TV show. Who is it? Oh. Well, yeah, and she didn't. They, they said she's fit in skins. That guy's clearly British because he's in like a Britman. Ah. Uh, how's how's chat feel? F C E. I think she's. I think she's E tier. Yeah, I think I think that'll be our grading for E. Lancel I like Lannister. How her only contribution to this season is getting fat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lancel, Jesus. He technically he... was involved with Robert Baratheon's death. He then became the faith militant dude. Did fuck up a lot of shit. Um. I'm f I'm starting to find it interesting that we have Pycelle above these people in D grade when Pycelle really didn't do anything. Just that he's on screen for so much, that it's kind of like hard to do. Yeah, are we? I think it's kind of we just find him more interesting. Yeah, kind of hard to explain. Maybe we should one. put him D. Maybe everyone's gonna end up in D. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to put Lancel in C because he actually commits to a couple of actions? He's in a decent amount of it, and then pull Pycel out of it. Yeah, and La Lancel can I, be off C. Again, this isn't. This is really hard to actually make consistent here. Like, this isn't about how much me and Wolf like these characters, really. We don't even really know exactly how we're ranking this. <laughs> it's, it's complicated. <laughs> Ned Stark. Oof. A. a. No. S. Oh yeah, S. Obviously, sorry. This is this. See, oof. Yeah, that's like a perfect character. But will the Hound stay in S rank? We will find out. I love how we don't even need to talk about it. He's just S. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Sean Bean is an S in everything he's in. What is the, the Gendry? Mm, he doesn't 
really do anything aside from run really fast to the wall that one time. Yeah. Because I really like his character, but when I really try to think of what he's done, I've drawn a real big blank. He was in a lot of season two, funnily enough, right? He's like in the whole thing almost. Yeah. I mean, he's in a good chunk of the show until he leaves and shows back up in season seven, but mm. beyond that... Well, lots of what is C's, he, D's, he, and a couple of F's. He doesn't, I yeah, he doesn't really do anything. I, I, I don't want to put him in F. It's got to be, it's between C, D, and E. I'm just not sure. Mm, Jesus Christ, because yeah, he, he kills a couple whites. And that's it. Do we even see him during the battle in Winterfell? Oh no, we did, yeah, he was fine with Tormund, wasn't he? Fuck, God, he's like a... He is like a D. Yeah, I think... he I never think... does anything. There's gonna be a lot of characters end up in D grade, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's we'll just reevaluate D and see if we can push some up or down at one point. Oh God, yeah. Benjamin Stark. This is, this is like... Oh. The, he saves Jon Snow. That's all he does in the entire show. Oh, well, he does save Bran and uh, Thingy as well, so... <sighs> but he's not even a character, really. He's got cold hands. You reckon this is the first, like, company Bran can have in F grade? The only character you get from him is, like, in Season 1, yeah. Episode 1, and that's it, really. Yeah, because then he leaves immediately after that, and then he's gone for the entire rest of the show until Season 6. <laughs> the mad chats pretty much go with Fs on this one. Okay, Bran, you finally got a friend. <laughs> He's a relative, too, so... Oh, fuck. What's this kid's name? Lysa's son? Oh, Robin? Robin, uh... Robin Aaron. That's the one, yeah. Fuck, we're looking at probably E-grade, right? <sighs> Says things, and he's not really in charge, obviously. He's really annoying. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jesus Christ, I kind of want to put him... Well, I, uh, I subjectively don't want to put him in F only because he's hilarious in season Yeah, this is kind of why I'm putting him in E. It's like, he's not awful or anything. He, well, he's unintentionally hilarious. Yeah. Not Well, maybe not unintentional by the writers. I think they might have actually intended him to look like a retard, but... <laughs> you comfortable with E? I'm comfortable with E. I'm comfortable with E, yeah. So this is a weird one. It's the actor from season six, I think, who uh, is in like the play, and he's always um, he's like he's like jealous of the other actress who's really popular. He's not really in the show much at all. Kind of weird that he's Wait, on this list. A, a play? Yeah. So the, remember the play Aya keeps watching in season six ish. He's a character. Yeah, he, and they Does go. He count? Apparently he's in this thing. <laughs> Why? What does he do? He's, like I said, he's mainly just jealous. <laughs> I'm seeing some S's for him. Uh, well, F ranks for most people. Yeah, um, I'm gonna he's... go with F. But the thing is, he's in the show for like, three minutes. So like, we get a decent Why chunk of character out of list? him. Yeah, I know. We get a decent chunk of character out of him for the time he's on here. But I guess he should be an F rank, by the logic of oh, he's just, he's just ineffectual. Actually... What about Rick on tier? Well, the idea with those tiers was that they'd be alone in them, but I guess we could put him in there. <laughs> Rick on's <laughs> got a buddy in Rick on tier. Fine, we'll put him in Rick on tier. Ooh, <laughs> Jora Mormont. Damn it. I do love this character, but he doesn't get a huge amount achieved, considering his screen time is basically 100% of the show. Yeah, he does. He does achieve save Daenerys several a times. Few times. I'm thinking A rank. He does save Tyrion too. He saves people. He does, and he does. He does have an impact. It's just that um, it's just that they really didn't know what they were doing with his yeah. character beyond being the guy he's, that saves everybody. His like writing is one dimensional. Like his character is interesting to an extent, but his actions what are very simple. Simple. What about a B? Um, I think he's better than Hodor and Gior. Oh, right, I forgot that we put Hodor in D. 
Uh, yeah, I'm okay with an A. All right. Oh no, Stannis Baratheon. I actually, because I'm so insulted, I just want to drop him in F, but I, I can't do that. Probably like B minus. Maybe C? Maybe C. I love Stannis because chat, but you have to judge him from the show. They ruined him. I don't put him on Tyrion's level. I'd say C. Yeah, like the damage done to Stannis is way worse than Tyrion. You say Stannis the Manus, there is no Stannis the Manus in the show. It's not a thing. And he doesn't count in the books because the books aren't done. Yeah, and, and they never will be. Besides, we don't consider it, this list would be completely different if we go solely by the books. Dora wouldn't be an A if it was the books. What would you put him in for the books? Dora? Probably like I... minus. He's a bit yeah. super pivy. What is he? What is he? Oh, yeah, because he's like, what, 40 years older than Daenerys, and Daenerys is. Doesn't he like fully, like at one point they're on a boat and he just straight up nearly rapes her? Oh yeah. Really uncomfortable oh, to read. Christ. Like okay. It, it's it's even worse because in the books like everyone's way younger. Isn't Daenerys like fourteen? <laughs> so is it above Redley? I know why you'd want to put him above Redley thematically, but status is ruined in the show. Am I the only one who remembers this? He killed his daughter. <laughs> his character is fucked. I liked him, but man, do they fuck with him? I don't know. What do you What do you reckon exactly? C, like, we stick him with that, or uh, I'd say C. And this is the thing: to go from a perspective of whether or not I like it, it's like his character was worthless. His whole goal, the entire show, is to achieve like one thing, and he just gets killed by Ramsay. Like, well, Brienne specifically, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I want to forget. All right, we're gonna keep him in C. Uh, fuck, why have I forgotten his name? Guy who um, John has a butt's heads with in the wall. I actually really like him. I'm just blanking him. Uh, is that the dude that killed Mormont? No, he's the one who killed John. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Uh, we should know this. We just Thorn. watched Alistair that episode. Thorn, the one. Thorn yeah. Uh, I actually really like Alistair Thorn. Yeah, he's a really good character. Actually. I'd probably push him up to at least B tier. He does kill John, so... Maybe we should... Do you want to, like, make a, a tier between A and B and put him and Jorah in there? So B plus? Or A minus? A minus, yeah, I guess. <laughs> We're taking this very seriously. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, uh, there's nothing wrong with any of his writing. He fully takes advantage of every s piece of screen time he's in, and he commits to a lot of important actions. That actor is really good, too. I really, what else has he been in? Like I said, I, I think we talked about this when we were watching the episode, but like, I can understand his character choosing to kill John because he's, he's loyal to the wall before anything, but I would have loved it if he was fighting with John at the end of the show sort of thing. Yeah. It would have been really neat. Lol, okay, Alice of Thorn is with Jorah, lol, lol, lol. I mean, with how we're sort of breaking this out, you know, if we did it by who's got the most screen time, then yeah, the list would be different. But we're not. Because Bran is literally an F tier. <laughs> so this is a little bit more complicated, but, uh, you know, I, I really like Jorah and him, to be honest. They're, they're both pretty. Arya Stark. <sighs> mm. I want to see, see chat's reaction first. Everyone, I'm post letters. Let's see what you're thinking. Pretty sure I know what chat's going to say. Chat's not going to be happy it's with gonna be It's going to be completely based off of episode three. F, C, F, 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 C, B, D, B, B, F, A minus. The highest F, score C, she's know, gotten is A minus. Who A's? E, C, F, D. I'm not sure how to judge uh, this one. I might actually just leave this to you, Wolf, because the thing is that I love her in like season one and two. And three, when she's... Yeah, here's the thing. I love her character. I really don't like it when I she hate, gets to Bravo, so I, I find hate, it all annoying. Yeah, but I hate what she's done more than anything. But can we really attribute that to her character? Mm. Why do I have to make this decision? Well, I'm going to say all, <laughs> all my input will be she cannot go higher than a B-. minus. Choose wherever she wants to be there. From there. <sighs> This is hard, because I, I like her character, but I hate what the <laughs> writers made her do. 
<laughs> People that, say Rick on tier. <laughs> it's not Rick on tier. Uh, no, not quite. Um, ah, I'm gonna go C because I'm, and I'm so I'm so indecisive about this one. Yeah, I mean this is this is this is actually going to be really hard soon because we've got so many done already now. Oh no, little finger. Oh, little finger. Uh, Pretty much pitch really... perfect up to the finale of season seven. Was he really ruined? Aside from how he died, like narratively ruined the fact that he was beaten by the San Sansa and Aya, like. <sighs> yeah, because I hated that part. But his character was still good. Yeah, I agree with that. I just a minus, you reckon? Yeah, a minus. I think he, he fits in there. Ah, uh, Natalie Dormer, which for some reason I'm forgetting her character name. Oh, uh, the 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 chick that exploded. Yeah, something. Margaret Tyrell is that it? Yeah, Marjorie Tyrell. Marjorie Tyrell. Hmm. Hmm. You hold tier. She has a strong character. I really like the fact that she's very clever. Oh, yeah, I like but the character. I'm just trying to think of what she's done. Definitely wasted, though. She... She... Uh, Do you remember when she's talking uh, to her mum about how everything's going to shit in King's Landing? And she's like a full-faith militant person? And her grandma's oh, yeah, like, oh no. She draws the picture. Yeah. I was like, oh yes, she's like, she's playing the long game. And then they blow her up. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking B. She's Hodor tier. Uh, I don't know if she's quite Hodor. I'm thinking... Mm. She's better than Tyrion. Died, like, before. Her, char her character wasn't ruined. It was just unfulfilled. Mm, yeah, maybe B. Mommy tier, B for <laughs> Someone said she's A for that sexy bod. <laughs> I'm. I mean, I'm happy with B because I don't think she's going to be better than Jorah and Littlefinger, but I think she's better than like Renly, Sansa, and Tyrion. Almost slotted in there by how oh, I don't know where else I'd put her. Yeah. Let's go Cersei that. Lannister. <sighs> He's not ruined. She's fine. She just shouldn't no. be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Ooh, since we got some S's. For me, my initial take is A rank. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> my gut reaction is like, I hate her, put her on Rickon's here, but at the same <laughs> time, it's like, but she's a good character, though. Um, I'm not yeah, a huge I'd fan of her in the latest season. She's very one note. She's just like, meh, everyone dies, I'm the best. You're like, yeah. But it's not like it's inconsistent with who she is. She's just fucking pissed at the world, so. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with A. Is everyone else happy with A? A lot of chat it's seems to be going with A as well. Ooh, Theon Greyjoy. Oh. Uh, I want to put him high. Yeah, I want to put him high. Maybe A minus? Maybe A? I'd be happy with an A or A minus because. That seems we, to be feeling I mean, a lot I mean, of A's. Sure, it, sure it's, it's dumb the way he dies, but. It's a good that's thematic the, death. Yeah, it's just the execution that's stupid, but the the whole him protecting Bran is a pretty good conclusion to his arc. Mm -hmm. He's in basically the entire show. He goes on his old journey. Is he an A or an A minus? Honestly, I'd say A. I think I'd say A as well. Oh wow, fuck, I forgot about this character. Um another Terrell. Fucking what's his oh, name? Oh, the dad? No no, the the son, the, the one who's dating Renly. Oh. Loris? Loris Terrell? Oh, Jesus. We're looking like fucking this could be D tier actually. It always bothered me that he was he gay? was supposed to be one of the best warriors in Westeros. We'd like see him fight like on with a joust and then a fight off screen and then that's it. I don't remember if it was from the books or from the show. Didn't Cersei send him somewhere and then he was burned? Oh yeah, that was from the books because he she sent him 
right into the front of a battle and he died immediately. Or, the, no, he didn't die. He he was like about to be dead. In the show he's captured for being a gay and then he's killed in the explosion. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy so with like in both the books and the show he hasn't really done anything, so I'd say E or D e. to you. Yeah, I I mean I'm cool with either of them, honestly. No, let's go with E. Right. Oh fucking hell, Braun. Not happy uh, that he so boringly accepts that he's just gonna betray well, attack. But his whole scene in the latest episode was so stupid for so many reasons. Um, I'm gonna go over I like moment. him, but I also hate him. It's like the writers don't know what exactly to do with him. Like, this is definitely it's one of those like ones, a... like, try and separate how much you like him, because I know how much I like him. But yeah. what is he in total? It's like, smart Alec joke cracking assassin man. A lot of bees in chat. I think he's he's probably pretty solid in B. Yeah, let's go with B. Oh wow, so Barristan sell me. Wasted potential. What was our wasted potential to you? Because <laughs> <laughs> I like him all the way up until they're just gonna kill him immediately. Uh, fuck. What would we put him as? What are you thinking? Possibly B-, minus. because I actually really like him, they just waste him. Yeah. Kind of like... <laughs> his dismissal in the show in season... I think it is. It's almost like one for one what they do with him and the better. Pretty much, yeah. I'd I'd go I'd go B. B, yeah, so he's Hodel tier. Actually no, B minus. He's Well interestingly we did put um Marjorie Terrell in there, which she's got kind of the same thing as him. Hmm. Mm, yeah. While Sansa, Renly, and Tyrion are more like B to B minus is the difference between like unused potential and then starting to like be just bad shit. Yeah. So B or let's go B minus. A lot of people are saying C. I think Barristan was okay, just didn't get a D. Oh my god, Shay. Shay was a character in season <laughs> two. She stopped being a character almost immediately after that. Yeah, do you remember, uh, this, I like a lot about her in season two. She was, like, really clever with Sansa, or tried to keep Sansa safe by trying to outsmart the other handmaidens or whatever. And how she would, she was like, if anyone tried to rape her, she'd kill them. And how would Tyrion, she's like, I'll be with you throughout everything. And then she's just kind of... That's all great, but then you get season three and season four. I want to put her at either E or D. What are you thinking? You can start to see in our little tier list that like D, e, e, and F are like characters that just don't do fuck all, even if they're in a lot of the show. Definitely, I'm thinking maybe C. Guess guess a lot of things done, and she's. Quite intelligent and shit, and then she just kind of fucks everything up. It's so like, C tier, we got yeah. Arya and status, so it's just gonna be like, oh, damaged characters, I see. Would you argue she's damaged from the... Well, no. Tyrion's more the one that got damaged from the books. She was just... Hmm. E e. Uh, you know, I might put her at a C. We'll drop her in there for now. We'll, we'll go over it again. Davos! One of my favorites up until oh he's not done God. anything this season. <laughs> yeah. I want to put him in, like, a B or an A-. minus. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. Uh, Possibly just... Yeah, what, what do you reckon, chat? Because uh, I was just thinking, Hodor here, yeah, he's definitely there, but maybe is he as good as good old Jorah, Littlefinger, and uh, Thorn? Maybe. A, B, A minus, A minus, A, A, A minus. I've seen a lot of A minuses. Happy for that? We should drop him in there. Yeah, I'd say A minus. Oh, Tywin. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Straight to the top. <laughs> uh, Maester Lewid. Only in the first two uh, seasons. 
and he dies. He does die. He has a bit of influence over Ned Stark and then the current rulers. He's a friendly fellow, but he's kind of Drogo in a way. Yeah. So D tier, I guess. Yeah, I'd say D tier. And Osha. D. Mm. Well, no, because she does. You get shit done. Actually, yeah. Until she doesn't. Until <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> uh, ooh. I'm thinking B or B minus. Or B minus or C. Yeah, it's between those I two. Would, I would say B minus because season six is when she gets all fucked up. Yeah, she gets outsmarted by Ramsey. In a really stupid way, too. Yeah, I'd say B minus. What's a Because she's not quite C tier. What is C tier exactly? What would you say our C tier currently looks like? Well, she wasn't done as badly as Stannis. True. I agree with that. Thing is, I'm starting to wonder oh, she... why Lancel is in C. Do you think we should put him lower? Well, I don't know, because it's like I think Stannis, Arya, and Jay all match sort of damaged characters that have significant roles that commit to actions that maybe they shouldn't, or that's kind of what we're getting at with this sort of tier. And it's just like Lancel never did anything he shouldn't have done. He was just uh... maybe he should be in B minus. Because look, yeah, it, we got Barristan in B minus, and technically Lancel did more than him. So yeah, we drop him in, and then Osha. Are we happy with her in... well... Maybe she should be in B- minus then. Yeah, because she does do stuff, it's just that she's wasted after that. Also, yeah, for those wondering how we're ranking this, it's too difficult to make a consistent rule, so we're just kind of... doing our best. <laughs> it's gotta be we're so frustrating to watch. At this point. Yeah, this is just for fun, really. Ah, oh, Bobby B. Baratheon, what are we... Oh, oof, that's like... high as fuck. I love this character. Wait, which one? Robert Baratheon. Ah. Uh, ooh. Eh. Mm. He's not bad. <laughs> I, I want to almost put him in S. The only reason that I don't want to put him in S is that he wasn't in it for long, but man, do I love this character. Well, yeah, but neither was Ned Stark. He was only in it for, like, what, two more episodes than him? That's true, actually. I'm happy to put him in S to you. Yeah, let's put him in S. He's fucking great. Egret. Oh, I really like her. Hodor tier? Oh, you want to go with A? She's better than Hodor, come on. I think I, I agree with that. A minus? Mm, yeah. A, A minus? Because, like, the A tier seems to be for, like, long standing characters that are relatively, like, perfectly consistent. Well, what was inconsistent about the grit? Nothing. She's just not in it for that long. It's like... Mm. Well, yeah, but we can't use that as an argument. We already put Ned Stark and uh, Robert Baratheon. Maybe in what I mean by that, I guess, that we didn't get a lot out of her, I guess, compared to them. I don't know. I, maybe we I need to rewatch her. Because she was in season two and... Two, three, and four. I mean, she made it over the wall. She killed a lot of the Night's Watch. Yeah, she's introduced at the end of season two and dies at the end of season she four. She completely changes John's worldview. Yeah, that's true. She that's, has a pretty big chat effect. feel. We got A minus A, A minus. Oh, yeah, she's she's scoring really high. I I really want to go with A. I mean, I'm kind of happy to go with either at this point because I think I'm just being too harsh to her. Did kill Pip as well. That's true. Yeah. A. A. It is. Uh, Balon Greyjoy. <laughs> the guy who really may as well have not been in the show. <laughs> like, oh god, that was Theon's dad, wasn't it? I think this might be an F tier. Like, he does bugger all. I genuinely forgot about who he was. Yeah, I'm gonna go with F. <laughs> I like Congratulations how... Congratulations to Rickon and Benjen, you got <laughs> someone else that isn't related to you. <laughs> I still love the dude who's in Rickon tier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this makes me sad. Roose Bolton. Uh, like oh, yeah. I like, cause he... He's awesome, he but he got wasted. Stupid way, yeah. What does he do? 
because he kind of, he didn't do the same thing that he did in the book. Like he didn't get to. He was, uh, he was weirder in the book as well. The like bathing in leeches or whatever stuff. Oh god, I forgot about that. Yeah, like he was creepy ish. But in this one, he was like a mini Tywin. He just didn't. Um, he didn't get to do anything. He had some planning. He did kill Rob Stark, but I think Rob Stark was dead either way. Killed him. Um, the betrayal was significant, but yeah, getting killed by his son was really lame. I was like, how the hell didn't you see that coming? I mean, aside from... Aside from killing Rob, but Rob had like three arrows sticking out <laughs> of him at that point, so it's like, well, he didn't exactly do a whole lot. The Red Wedding was all him, wasn't that? It wasn't uh, all that was him. That was Tywin, Lord Frey, and then Bolton was like third. I, th I think the Freys get more credit than the Boltons do. Yeah. What did Roos do on screen? He stabbed Roos, Rob, and that's Roos about it. Just, Roos pretty much just joined them at the very end of it. Do you reckon D Otherwise, he's on the Stark side. Honestly, I kind of want to put him at E. Yeah, like, because I think that my bias towards him is pushing him higher than he should be. He's, he doesn't do anything. He, he fucks a really fat chick. He does do that. That's one of his, one of his three, like, achievements. <laughs> that's uh that's about it otherwise i generally forget he's even in the show <laughs> move theod to s our s tier no, is not, coveted he's not, he's not he's not quite s tier oh god rick on stock <laughs> there you go buddy you did it <laughs> put him in tywin tier <laughs> Ooh, jamie lannister if not for Ooh. the latest episode he probably would have been s for me but i guess Mm, probably A. What did he? I don't. I don't know. Cause part of me. Wait, when you say the latest episode, do you mean just the sleeping with Brienne part, or the going no going out going, to going back to Cersei? Do we know he's going back to Cersei, or that he's going to go and kill Cersei? Don't know for sure. Or attempt to. Um, because part of me, I mean. Obviously, we know from the leaks he dies with Cersei, but we don't know what... Did the leaks specify what he's going to do with Cersei beyond that? Yeah, I guess we shouldn't treat it because we don't know for sure. It could be way worse than we think. It could be way better than we think. Yeah, because it doesn't exactly specify. Because I took it as he was going off to finish her off. <laughs> S rank if he kills Cersei. I agree with that. Yeah. So, as it stands, should we say it's an S I rank? I'd, I'd say as it stands, just to be safe, we put it as, as an A, because we'll know by next episode. Oh, what so if he is. kills Cersei, he goes to S. If he doesn't, and he's like, I love you, and then they both die together or something, then he like drops to like a B. Together. Probably, yeah. All right, he's going to stay safe in A for now. Uh, Podrick Payne. Ty Winter. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he fits I in with the Hodor tier. Yeah. Odor are the same thing. They're both awesome. Man, it you know what pisses me off is uh they actually revealed how he got those whores for free. Oh right, you mean singing? Or do you mean something else? No, no. In the last episode, um uh when Tyrion looks at Brienne and he's like, You're a virgin, it cuts to him and he starts to drink, and it's like, oh god damn it. I don't know. Well, I've seen people discuss that. People, uh, this is one of two takes. It's that one, or that it's he drank because it's a really awkward question. Because you see him walk off with two girls uh, while the Hound and Sansa are talking. Implication being that he's like a player. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's, it's, there's conflicting accounts on whether or not that means that. Well... <laughs> well, and yeah, the, the see some of the people in chat are like, nah, Pod walks away with two girls. It was clearly an awkward question. It's like, yeah, it was it was an awkward question, so that's why he was like, ooh, drag. Um, but yeah, this, Fringy, this, Fringy messaged me and he said that downward thrust is Tywin tier. <laughs> he's above Tywin. <laughs> he's uh, he's tonal tier. Uh, Melisandre. Hmm. She's I'm really curious. Wasted. I'm curious what the cat's take on Melisandre is. Oh, uh, because part of me is like, well, she brings back John. She does have a lot of effect, but 
uh, I don't know where to put her. Oh my god, look at chat. We got B minus, A minus, B, C, D, B, D, A, D, A minus, C. F for fire. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking at between A minus and F. Is that what we're thinking? Uh, I'd say S I kind of want to. Hmm. This is tough. I, 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 I want to say C, but I don't know if she deserves There's it. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it. Like, if we look at it, she, her whole thing is a person who has a varied contact to the Lord of Light, makes decisions based on that that don't turn out to be true, and she gets depressed about it. And then she finally manages to defeat the Night King along with everyone else, and she's happy. Like, she's not really screwed up. She's kind of a bitch. <laughs> like, a lot of the time. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What where would you put it? Mm, I kind of want to say C. But like the Aya, Shay, and Stannis here, yeah, like she's not that damaged, is she? I guess not. Maybe. I, I this is a this genuinely is, difficult. One. Mel burns Shireen alive. It's like yeah, but. It made sense for her to do that. Like, I figured it makes sense that she would even suggest something like that. C for child burner. <laughs> I'd probably say B minus. No. I don't really think there's anything wrong with it. What's wrong with it? I can't. Th I don't know. I mean, it, it depends on how you take her death in the last season. No character progression. Hmm, that's fair. Yeah, she's she does. She does get sad. She gets sad at one point. That's that's worth. When did she get um, sad? Just just the fact that she's wrong about oh, everything. Oh, right over Shireen. She, she kind of um, seem a little regretful over that. Yeah, the scene when she turns old in the wall uh, near the wall. <laughs> she's like Mwah. B. B for burnt princess. <laughs> B for bad pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, I, I think I'm comfortable with B minus just because she doesn't, she's one note almost exclusively, but does have a lot of impact and she does seem to have feelings about the bad things she does. Yeah. Relatively unfulfilled. She's kind of the same as Lancel and, uh, Osha. Yeah. I'm, I'm comfortable. Yara Greyjoy. Hmm. <laughs> She... She's she's Hodor tier or below that? Below. Definitely below. She's not bad, but she's that not good. That seems to think she's bad. You know, maybe D. Hmm. Because she... Screw I don't even it. know if she has... I don't even know if she has wasted potential, because I don't even know if she had potential to begin with. That's true, yeah. Like, for the amount of time she's on screen and what we understand about her, she seems to be fully utilized, but it's not exactly much I mean, utilization. what does she do? She, she goes to rescue Theon, and then Theon doesn't want to be rescued, and then she gets Storms. captured, and yeah. Theon rescues her, and then she takes the Iron Islands off screen? Yeah, so she's kind of ineffectual. She's almost E tier. I kind of want to put her at D. I'm happy with D. Alright, we'll leave her in D. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Grey Worm. <laughs> Defined entirely by the fact that he dates Mel uh, Masande. <laughs> I still can't get over that meme you showed me. Of, <laughs> my of Sunday. Of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> my Sunday. <laughs> I'm He's thinking E tier. With a bit of a character. Yeah, E. Yeah, I think that's a couple. He's, he's really no better than Lancel. Or, no, not Lancel. What is his Loris. name? Loris. Yeah. Beric Dondarian. Oh. I like Beric, but. I like him a lot, but. What, what does, does he, he do, do really? <laughs> he, he wanders around and he has a. How does chat feel about Beric? I feel like people like Beric. A, C, A, B minus C, C A, C. Yeah, he's, so he's around this area. So is uh, he Hodor tier? He's probably a Hodor tier, right? That feels about right. Yeah, because he's not less effectual than Hodor. 
But he also, they don't do an... They nearly, like, when he's walking with them to the wall, the, the wall episode in Season 7, I mean, um... I love his conversation with John, I think it is. Yeah. I feel like they could have done more with Beric, but they weren't I really sure like what to I'm do with him. I judging him completely on his voice. Yeah, his voice is amazing. <laughs> he genuinely has one of the coolest voices ever. Remember, ever. he was resurrected like seven times in order to save Aya so she could do his job. <laughs> <It's> like, okay. <laughs> I yeah, was, you know, was... I never was gonna be uncomfortable with the idea that he ended up killing the Night King. If it was just facilitated by John or even Aya, if someone held, like, because I was always like, it'd be cool if he actually ended up being Azor Ahai. Because he's such a less significant character, but it's all been relatively. Uh, Dude, built up. can you imagine how cool it would have been if we got John, Arya, Theon, and Beric versus the Night King and the White Walkers? See, people like, be like, that's fan fucking, service. I was like, it fucking should have happened, though. Like, how fucking awesome would that have been? That would have been the coolest fight scene ever. That would have saved that entire episode. Well, didn't I show you that there's that clip of the Night King actor practicing? Oh, yeah, the, the dude with two swords. Yeah, so was, right. uh, people are theorizing, because he got recasted since season five, right? The Night King. And everyone was like, oh, they recasted him because they need a swordsman to be able to play him. But then they never did any sword work with him. It was like, oh, they probably changed what they were going to do. Sad. But anyway, Varus. Hmm. And we put Littlefinger in A minus, and I feel like he's almost right to be in A minus because he's got the same shit as Littlefinger right now, where Varus was like the best thing ever, and then sort of I'm was worthless. I'm afraid of what they're gonna do with him next episode, since we know he's gonna die. I mean, before I read anything anywhere, I was certain he'd be killed by Daenerys. I figured that that's just like inevitable for him. Yeah, I'd say A minus. Yeah, I'm it's happy to put him in A minus. He's the same as Littlefinger. He's kind of just. Oh look, Mel, uh, not Mel Sandra, Missande. You just put her in the same uh, tier as Grey Whale. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how, what do you think, Chat? Maybe I'm being too harsh. I mean, what what does Missande do? What does what does Missande do? Tell us. She says Dracaris to no effect, and then gets her head chopped off. <laughs> oh, people said F tier. E's and F's. Can see if there's any. Oh, someone said. Yeah, because at least Grey Worm kills people. She doesn't do anything. Because yeah, they're like, she's the best friend of Daenerys, and I'm always like, why though? Because she black. Just talks to her sometimes. I need to like look back at all the conversations and see if there was actually any like interesting conversations. I usually forget she's in the show until she shows up. So like, just to give perspective here, is she really Balon? Tier. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple people that said Rick on tier. She's not Rick on tier, but I don't know if she's Bail on tier. I feel like she is. You know, because the part that's giving me like trouble him, is the fact she's she in it for so long. Anything. But yeah, she doesn't really do anything. And her character's not particularly interesting. She doesn't. I mean, Rick, uh, Bran was in it for longer than any of them. That's true. But he did have a literal, like, his character was sucked out of him. Narratively speaking. <laughs> Yeah, but still, that happened the first episode, and then Missande never had a character to begin with, aside from being That is true. She had no character to suck out, so... Alright, I'm convinced. F is fine. Oh, hey! Mance Raider. Ooh. I like Mance Raider a lot. Yeah. I'm going to light the biggest I mean, fire the North has ever seen. Does he kill anyone of note? No. Not, he, no, he the, just, not he in just the tells show. other people to kill him. Yeah. A lot of people are saying B tier. But he's Hodor tier. I feel like he's between Hodor and Jorah tier. We don't have one of those. I'd say B. Yeah, I guess we'll leave him in B. Ooh, Tormund. Oh. Surely that's an A minus. He got, he, got, he got cucked by Jamie. He did, but Jorah is. Uh, J Woman is hilarious. Yeah, I love. I, I mean, when we watched the Battle for the Wall episode, I mean, I, I thought it was kind of crazy to see him be the bad guy. Yeah, just knowing how long we've had him be the good guy. His turn so is I awesome. Put him at a minus. Um, they don't know what to do with him anymore. Clearly, because he was just there to make jokes, and then he left. Like, okay, so maybe not a minus. But then I don't know. A minus is filled with characters that have like bad endings. Well. 
Is Tizmi ending? Yeah, I'd say A minus. You don't think B? You think he's better than B? He's better than Hodor. Is he better than Hodor, Geor, Beric, Bronn, Pod, and Marjorie? Possibly. Yeah, I guess he is, because yeah. he has the he does have an arc of sorts with John. Yeah. He's better than B. I mean he survives the battle at the wall, hard home, the battle of the bastards, the battle of Winterfell. <laughs> Look at the, the two back to back answers. Yes, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Never, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ramsey Bolton. He's really good. The actor did a really good job of making him like he prepared. I have a feeling he might not have been in the show as much if the actor wasn't playing him. Mm hmm. How does chat feel? A's and S's here. I don't. I don't know if he's quite as good as. Um, fuck, why can't I remember the kid's name? Joffrey? Um, Joffrey, yeah. Because part of me is like, oh, he definitely is on... No, no, no. Maybe not quite. This is the thing. He's kind of a lot like Joffrey, in that they're both kind of one note, but they're both portrayed so well that it's like... And they both have a <laughs> lot of impact on the plot. Someone said S for sausage. <laughs> I guess, so I guess it's between A and A-. minus. I mean, if we're going to put Jamie there, I kind of want to put him there. An A? Yeah. I think Jamie doesn't deserve to be an A? No, I think he does, depending on what happens yeah. next episode, but... I mean, you All can't, right, yeah, you can't think... ruin him now. He's That's true, he's Ramsey dead, can't be ruined. So... Alright, yeah, go fine. with A. Ooh, this is going to be a complicated one. Hmm. The nearest Targaryen. Rick on. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I hate her so much. I. What is. She, I yeah, mean, I mean, she's let, really let's bad. Be, let's, let's be perfectly honest. What does she do? Everyone does everything for her outside of even when the, she burned the Lannisters. The well, that's the thing. Even the dragons do everything for her. Yeah. The dragons. I mean, she's so bad. But is that Rick on to you? <laughs> I love how Tywin doesn't have anyone on, in his chat, tier, but Rickon type, does. Chat, just type R for Rickon. People, do you want to read Rickon tier just for the meme? I, <laughs> I, like, not even just for the meme. It's either going to be F or it's Rickon, and I'm going Rickon. I hate her. Uh, she's decent in season one. Like, the people in F don't even have a, 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 a they were good in X, you know? Well, yeah, but we, we can't say that for all the other characters, because we, then we'd have to say... Tyrion's good in season one, but we put him at a B minus. Well, that's why he's there. Oh, he's he's good, good in season one, one two, three, and most of four. Uh, and yeah, she hatched the dragons. That's something. Yeah, yeah. Fire could have done that. Uh, I think she's okay. above Rickon. I mean, I would probably put her in E tier, to be honest with you. I don't. No, because Grey Worm's better than her. Do you wanna, do you wanna, should we do a straw poll for chat? We'll put it you between... Know, gonna put her in Rickon. That's fine. If, if chat, <laughs> it relinquishes our responsibility. <laughs> Daenerys. Which... Yeah. The poll option, we'll do, we'll do E, F, and Rickon. Seems like everybody wants to be in here to be in one of those. And you can only choose one. Uh, oh, here we go. Wait. I'm going to spam in that in chat because reason my chat it always freezes whenever I want to do something, and I'm gonna vote for. I voted oh. for Rickon. I'm not a robot. There we go. All right, chat. Here we go. <laughs> it's coming, chat. It's coming. Chat, stop typing so fast. You might want to put it in the description and tell people to refresh the page. I can't even do that. My live dashboard's frozen. This is something I really need to get Weird. fixed. I don't know why this happens. But yeah, use the thing Wolf posted, everyone. We have to figure out where she goes correctly. 
God forbid we get it wrong. Everyone's saying EFR. No one's voted for F yet. <laughs> Wait, really? Everyone's voted for either Rickard or E. That's weird. I would have thought it would be F for Rickon. Yeah, it's 50 50. Holy shit. Oh, there we go. We got an F. Oh, now there's an F. Yeah, and I'm, on, guys. I'm still on. trying to get it posted in, my, in, in the chat. Don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm trying to get there on the Discord. Do you want to post it again just to make sure they see it? Yeah, here we go. Chat, calm yourself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think posting it's going to be useful at this point. Well, there should be way more votes than this. That's why I'm assuming that people aren't able to vote. But I doubt that only 10 people voted. I'm still frozen. <laughs> people are like, give me the link, and it's like, stop typing, and maybe, <laughs> you'll, maybe you'll see it. It might not even... I wonder if it shows up. Oh, there's no way for me to get it to people. Maybe if I load it... it. Hang on, if I load up... Yeah, I'm not even seeing it on the stream replay, and I've been spamming it pretty okay, consistently. The... Uh... uh I will find a way to do this. There we go. Actually, here, why don't we just do this? Guys, it's straw poll. No, I got it. I got actually, it. spamming away. <laughs> I can spam as much as I want because I own the channel. I can't possibly be trolling. All right, everyone, click that link and uh, we, will, we will see what people think. Yeah, that's better. The votes are coming in now. Oh my god, look at that that ticking number go up. Oh man. <laughs> Use your... It's like, your it's like the exact feelings. opposite of Pro Jared's sub count right now. That is true. Rickon's winning, dude. Rickon is winning. I can, we, we have to follow the votes for this. We can't, we can't break that ruling. You truly want her to be in Rickon tier, everyone? This is the thing, she's pretty bad. No denying it. Um, and especially and it sucks, with... Just before we went live, we were talking about how this is the one season in a long time that Amelia Clark has actually done really well with her acting. Yeah, and I think that it's actually kind of lame. Like, the story is, everybody conveniently that she really likes gets killed. And so she's crazy now. And it's like, alright. Could have done that way better, but okay. Give her the rick. <laughs> <laughs> Give her the rick. Yeah, since we've got what is essentially a clear lead for Rick on, I'm afraid, Daenerys, that there's nothing we can do for you. <laughs> she shall be sacrificed for the memes. You know I find it funny that she's in Rickon tier, not even Daenerys tier, it's just Rickon tier. She doesn't even get the name of the tier. I, I, I love that we put more people than Rickon in Rickon tier. <laughs> I mean, to to make it better, we'd probably put a tier after F. The Rickon could be in his own tier, but are we saying she's she's worse than Rickon? Is that what we're saying right now? I wouldn't say she's worse than Rickon. Move Joffrey to F. Oh shit! All right, so next one, Olena Tyrell. Ooh, she's, she's one of the candidates for like Tywin tier. She's that good. I mean, yeah, she kills Joffrey. And, and she's like a badass in every scene she's in. And she frames, she successfully manages to frame everyone except for herself. Yep, and then her death is, uh... Pretty good. Actually, yeah, I like really like her death scene. It's one of the really good parts of season seven. I mean, oh, we got a lot of interesting... I, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say S tier. A lot of people are saying Tywin tier. Um, I think we'll, we'll just put Popper in S tier. Need to add one tier below Rick on what well, and put Daenerys in it. <laughs> <laughs> Thoris of Mia. Yeah, there are a lot of people saying she's female Tywin. She really is though. She's the closest thing to Tywin probably in this whole thing. We might I think we might... should put her in Tywin tier. Yeah, fuck it. You can marry Tywin. You're Tywin's wife. You're in Tywin tier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Thoris of Mia. What do you reckon? He does bring back Beric a lot. That is true. Should we put him on par with Beric? Because other than bringing him yeah, back, yeah, I think that makes he sense. He doesn't do anything. If he's going in B or B minus, probably. 
And I'm, I think I think I'm happy putting him on par with Barrick since he is Hodor they both tier. have the same saying? effect. Hodor tier. Yeah. We should just rename it Hodor tier, and then <laughs> uh, we'll call B minus B. <laughs> A minus <laughs> Hodor tier. B minus or B. Okay, guy who is like John's antagonist over the wall. Um. Oh, the oh, one who killed... Orel, um, I think it is? Orel? Orel? Oh, no, this is the wildling guy, isn't it? Yeah, Orel. Oh. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, what's his name? He was the warg, wasn't he? Orel. Yeah, apparently it is Orel. Okay. Um, so he's kind of worthless, he doesn't really do much. He sets up their fight with the thing, he's just, he's in love with Igret, he's annoying to John. He gets killed by John the second. Proven right that John's... Uh, do, do you remember when John says you were right the whole time when he stabs him? I thought that was fun. I genuinely forgot all about him until <laughs> I guess now. Does that so. make him E tier? He's not quite F tier. He does actually no, do stuff. He, I would say he's on par with Grey Worm. Wait, do you mean he's better than Grey Worm or worse than Grey Worm? I, I don't know. I genuinely oh. forgot about him, so I don't <laughs> remember if he's better or worse. He's a season three only character, I guess. Yeah. Was it season four? I think it's season three. Yeah, it's season three, because it's the end of season three that John gets back to the wall. People are saying D tier. Mm. Yeah, kinda. Because you know, because you got Yara in there. That's true, but Yara's at least she does something. Yeah, like I said, Orel do doesn't really do anything. He's got much more of a character than Pretty much anybody in E outside of Roos, maybe. Because like he's he's basically identified by being pro wildling, anti John, pro Egret. <laughs> That's his character. Yeah. Um. A lot of people say. Forget about him. I think I'm happy with him in B in E. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah. E. <laughs> Fraggy said you forgot about Carl fucking Tanner, S tier villain. You remember Carl Tata? He's not in this list. He really should be. He's the one that um John ends up like he's leading the people who uh fucked up Geo Momont in uh Castus Keep. Oh, the guy who I, I've mentioned him twice now. Have you? Yeah. What have you called have you called him Carl Tanner or have you called him I no, I I've just been calling him the guy that kills Mormont. Oh, okay. Uh, I must have missed that. But yeah, I actually really like Carl Tanner. He's a fucking legend. But, I can't believe he's not on the list. He had a I don't know, how is he impact. not? But the dude from the fucking theater group is in here. Like, how? I know, why? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Um, alright, Kyburn. Uh, I can't credit him for the, the, the dragon fire. I'm immediately fire. thinking D tier. He matches a lot of people in there for just... Yeah. Yeah, he does some stuff. A lot of stuff. Mostly because you can only do it because other people do. That was introduced before he was, and... Oh wow, chat has a high opinion of him, apparently. Or at least, really? they, want to, they want to put him in C or A. Which is quite a difference not on a. this list. He's nowhere near Definitely A. How a. is he in A? How do you guys rationalize that he's in A? <laughs> scorpion and the mountain. Think... He does make the mountain, and he does make the scorpions, that is true. That is true. Wait, what are the scorpions again? The the ballister things, the uh, the shot, the things that you were on killed the fucking dragon with. Wasn't that like a model that they had to kill dragons beforehand? Um, they well, I, I can't remember if they the say it in the episodes, but the idea is that Kyburn upgraded the one that Bronn used in season seven. Is it really that big of a thing if he only upgraded an existing weapon? Well, I mean, it went from not being able to kill a dragon to killing a dragon, so. I thought they could kill dragons. Well, if you remember, Bronn hits Drogon in Season 7 and it only hurts him. While in this one it, like, pierces them in the... Oh, he, he upgrades it between 7 and 8? Apparently. Apparently. I don't know if there's a piece of dialogue for that. It might be. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people are saying he revived the mountain. Surely that's worth a lot. Maybe C? Because he's better than D tier. He does do something, just not much. Look how many A-minuses people are saying. 
You guys want to put him with Jorah and Littlefinger and Varys? And Tormund and Sir Davos. Alistair and mm -hmm. Davos? Davos, yeah. He's not that good. He's nowhere near that good. Is he Hodor tier? Ah, no, no, no. All right, I think I kind of want to put him in B tier. Yeah, because he, I'd say he's on par with uh, Melisandre and uh, Laura, uh, not Laura, what's his name? Lancel. Lancel. All right, B tier, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna compromise. Not putting him in A. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Um, as far as I'm aware, there isn't a line about him upgrading the baluster. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'll have to rewatch the show. Uh, the Blackfish. Hmm. Really like the Blackfish, but man, is he wasted. But I, yeah, I hate the way he goes out. He's almost invented just to delay season six. I think it's season six or seven. Six. It is six. Like, he just filler for season six. It doesn't really amount to anything. So... I kind of forgot who he was at that point. Uh, a lot of people saying C tier. C or D for me. He doesn't do anything. Delays Jamie yeah, Lannister. Arya, Arya does do something. Stannis does do something. Yeah, Actually, our C tier sense. is almost the characters that we liked that got shit canned. <laughs> that seems to be that list. Yeah. That had a lot of potential as well, I guess. J is the interesting one that's in there for now. Uh... So, people want to put him in C for Wasted, but the thing is, he never actually did anything to begin with. Yeah, because aside from just being there, what did he do? I don't even know what he did in the books. I'm thinking D tier. Did he do anything in the books? I think he was most, he's yet to be realized in the books yet, but like, like he's going to be, I think. <laughs> Someone said the Blackfish let that uh, funeral pyre. That is true. So D tier, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'd say D. He's kind of like Khal Drogo. Uh, Tom and Baratheon. He's got a funny death. <laughs> I actually, honestly, I'm like D tier immediately. It's like he. Yeah, he... kind of. All I remember from Tommen is like all the memes of his death with the people saying, "Do a backflip, your grace." <laughs> That's literally all he is. He, uh, maybe E tier then. Yeah. He's essentially, his character is he's a puppet until he kills himself. I mean, fuck. Grey Worm does more than him. Oh god, are we thinking F tier? What are we I'm thinking, chat? I'm, 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 I'm able to be convinced here for basically anything. Rick on tier. What is he? No, he's not Rick on tier. Tommen is a holy man. That is true. Do a barrel roll, your grace. <laughs> uh, I think everybody's saying F. He might be an F. Because this is the thing, I can't think of any... He has scenes where he talks to people. He's interested in doing what's right, but he has no idea what that is, and that's the point, is that he's everyone manipulates him. Hell, even from the books, the only thing I can remember is that he wants a pet kitten. Yep. He's like he's, innocent he's incarnate nothing. is the point of him, really. Makes him kind of... He's just the exact opposite of Joffrey. He worse than Masande? Uh, I think Masande's probably better than him. By a narrow margin. Yeah. I mean, they're roughly on par. Yeah. Alright, I think he's safe in F. Okay, so we got... Uh... He took King's Landing's name too literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why have I forgotten this guy's name? Oh shit! Guy from Hill House. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, it starts with a D, isn't it? Dario Naharis. Dario, it. Dario Naharis. Yeah. I have no idea where to place him, honestly. I'm trying to think of what he's done. The Hodor tier, maybe. Oh, he killed, he, oh wait, he killed that dude in season three. Yes. But that wasn't really much of anything, though, was it? He went on a rescue mission with Jorah to save Daenerys, but she kind of saved herself. Yeah. He doesn't do anything, does he? Not really. He has a couple of assassin kills. 
the people we don't really care about. Honestly, in the books, I kind of forgot who he was. I was more interested in Strong Belwaz. Yes. Strong Belwaz is really cool compared to him. In the books, he looks really weird because he's like got a blue beard mm -hmm. and shit. Um, he's really bad now that I think about it. E I think I only like the actor. Yeah, I'd say D tier. Kind of like the Blackfish. Yeah. Barristan on the list yet? Yes, Barristan is the B tier. B. Thinking about it, it might be a bit high, but I mean, the logic is that he's like fantastic up until he's wasted. He's definitely, he's definitely way above Dario. Yeah. Oh god, Oberyn Martell. Ding, 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 ding. Oh god. <laughs> this is like S tier. Uh, yeah, I'd say S tier. So fucking amazing, and he's only in it for one season. That's it. That's the parody of the common thread with the S tier characters. They're in it for one season. Apart from the <laughs> Hound, who's in every part of it. Fucking love Oberyn. He's one of my favorites. Why the hell is the one true king C tier? Because he's ruined. Wait, one true king? Who are they talking about? Stannis. Oh, oh, yeah. Why would you say that? It's pretty obvious. They ruined him. Um. Rob Stark, yeah. Rob Stark is. Oh, he's like near the end of the list for some reason, according to this. Uh, anyway. Wife of Oberyn. <laughs> uh, what is uh... it? Is it Illyria the, Sand? The that, Illyria Sand, I think uh, her name is. What does she do? She kills Cersei's daughter. Then All right. she gets captured after making an alliance with Daenerys, and that's it. So I think I, we're looking at... I, I really hate her. I really lot. hate her character as well, but I'm guessing this is a D to E tier character. I've seen a lot of Rickons. <laughs> Everyone just hates her, that's why, though. <laughs> she has it. Remember, she kills um, uh, uh, the Martell uh, guy. Why have I forgotten his name? Thorin Martell? Yeah. That's pretty Wheelchair significant. Martell. Wheelchair Martell, yeah. Oh, Lena is a fucking meme mover below Tywin. What? How and is she a meme? She's not a meme, she's also. How dare you? Uh. Uh, this is the thing, she has two significant kills. And she, like, pushes for Dawn to essentially be behind her as... She's almost C. I want to make a tear beneath Rickon, just for her. <laughs> I mean, we hate her, yeah, but I mean, gotta go somewhere. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. She might be a C. She gets a lot of shit done. Are you gonna have Littlefinger and the Onion Knight on the same tier? Because the Onion Knight hasn't been broken. Littlefinger yeah. was amazing, but his damage has pushed him that far down. Sorry. Our logic isn't exactly completely consistent with this thing, but this is just a silly game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I uh, do you reckon C tier then? I'm going with C. Enjoy that, Stannis. You're in the same tier as her. That's what you did to him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he's gonna be too enjoyable. Alright, I think this is an obvious F tier. It's uh, Cersei's daughter. Oh god, the one whose only contribution was death. Is it Marcella? Marcella's her name? I think so. Yeah, she's Yeah, there. Marcella. Wait, she finds think... out that Jamie is her dad out of absolutely nowhere, and then she dies. Yeah, she's just F tier. Uh, ooh, Viserys. I actually really like Viserys. Yeah. I kind of want to go with an A-. minus. Yeah, he's. I think he's above Hodor tier, it's just he didn't get to really shine because he was killed. Yeah. But, uh, I liked him a lot. He's a good character, he just doesn't do anything. Yeah, he, if he had survived even two seasons, he'd probably be A. But, um, got upset and then... Oh god, here we go. I don't know their names, so whatever. One of the three Sand Snakes. The annoying one. Rickon. Yeah, I want to put her in... Ugh. Can we just put all of them in Rickon tier? <laughs> like, genuinely? 
<laughs> not even memeing. Why are there six people in the Rick on tier? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I hate all three of the sad sticks. They're they so worthless. So bad. God. <laughs> People are saying below Rickon. I mean, we could. <laughs> <laughs> the sand snake tier. I'm fit on screen at this point. Okay, no, we're not going to do that because I actually want to be able to show it. They are in the Rickon tier. But the thing is, they're not in the Rickon tier because they barely have a character. Their characters are insufferable. They don't do anything right. And they're the kids of one of the best characters in the fucking universe. It's like literally, Euron became the hero of this series when he killed them all. Is Euron in this list? Oh, he is. We're coming up to him soon. Oh, shit, man. We got, um, the High Sparrow. Oh, God. Good oh, old. God. What he's, else is he play? I know I've seen him in something else. He's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. He's he's Kira Knightley's oh, dad. Oh right. He dies stupidly in there too. Well, I mean, I don't think he dies. It makes sense what Cersei does. It's just it's oh, annoying yeah. that he didn't see it coming. He's supposed to be really clever. And I actually really he's he's what got me through a lot of uh, Game of Thrones when I was kind of checking out. I actually really enjoyed him. Yeah, season five. It was basically him and John is all I really remember. It. So I'm I'm thinking A or S for me, but I don't know what's everyone thinking. I want to go with A. I'm not sure he's on S tier. Because what does he? He doesn't do much aside from like say gay bad and Cersei <laughs> bad, and, and then he explodes. I he's yeah. Well, he's I not, just so he talks a lot about what's wrong with royalty and. Like, his whole character is based around the idea that he's loyal to the people and religion instead of money, power, or armies, or family, even. I mean, hell, I think the nun that says shame does more than he does. Well, he's controlling all of that, though, isn't he? Ah, uh, that's true. Which tier is Mance Raider on? Uh, Hodor tier. Oh, uh, he's above Hodor. I mean, we can always switch it out, I don't mind. I really like Mance Raider. You wanna... I kinda I kinda don't feel right putting Mance Raider on Odor tier nothing about it. Like he should go above it? I kinda feel an A minus now that I think on it. I mean I d I I'm not against that. Do you wanna put Did we? the high sparrow we had... and Mance Raider in A minus? Yeah. They're kind of the same. Yeah, because they, they don't really do much themselves, but they direct a lot of the shit that goes on. And it's funny you say that, considering we got Varus and Littlefinger in that tier as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. I'm happier with oh, that. Oh, son of Doran Martell. Fucking F tier. <laughs> who cares about that guy? Does anyone even remember his name? Who? The guy who gets killed by oh, the sad Oh, God, stakes. that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's definitely F tier. He could be Rick on tier. The thing is, he's not like, well, what's your... No, he, he's not Sand Snake tier. Let's be honest. He's well, not that bad. The thing about Sand Snake tier is like, a, a Rick on... Tristane. A, a, oh, Tristane. Uh, is Rick on Daenerys and Theater Man in, in Sand Snake tier, though? No. No, they're all better than the Sand Snakes. I think that's how I'll do it. I'll just order it so that they stay above them in, in terms of reading left to right. Um, Makes sense. Doran Martell. Like, he doesn't get to do anything. He but he's sits in a chair and then he's oh, stabbed. He should be E tier then, I guess, right? Basically the tier of people who like are okay and stuff, but they just do nothing at all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Euron Greyjoy. Finger up the bum, man. Hmm. I don't know what to do with him, honestly. Yo, chat feels... I like him and I hate him. A lot of people saying C tier. C F S S, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I yeah, he's. He does kill a dragon, and he does kill the sand snakes, and he does capture Tywin uh, for killing sand snakes. <laughs> Yara. Uh, B tier then? 
He's I'm definitely here. He was, so for those who like he's ruined because of what he's like in the books, we're not we're not quite considering the books. At least I don't think we have, right? Have we done that? No. No. So yeah, he's not quite he's below Hodor, but um you know, he does a lot even if it's the writing that allows him to do that. Oh, the other theater person who heals Aya's several stab wounds Why with soup. Why the hell are the theater people in here? But uh Guy who I kills can, Jor Mormont. I can understand putting her in here because she's she actually saves Aya's life. Yeah, but beyond that, she dies immediately. Yeah, so we're looking at B or E here. Kind of like Roz. She has little impact. We barely know her. Yeah. Where do we put Roz? D tier. I'm good with D. All right. I'm not sure who this is. Is this the creepy witch that talks to a? Uh, Cersei, or is this someone else? Who? Person, I don't recognize her. I'm still waiting to see it on screen. Oh, that's uh, Mara... something? That's Mira not Mary Mazdor. Oh, that's not? Season 1 witch person. No, she's a different face to that. Oh no, this is the one that told Cersei her prophecy, right? Yeah, that's who I thought it was. No, Maggie I mean, the no. Frog. Oh, okay. Um... I don't know, where the hell would she go? <laughs> she's she's in the show for like I mean, 10 seconds. She tells Cersei a thing that's gonna happen, and that's it. We're looking maybe F tier then? E tier? F tier. What does she do beyond that? Yeah, it's not even her fault. She's not in the show at all, so what can you do? Uh, Randall Tarly. I actually mm. really like the performance from the guy as Randall Tarly. Yeah, but what does the character do? Not much. He's a dick. Joins with Cersei. Defeats his previous queen, Olena. And then he gets burned. So we're looking probably E tier here. Yeah, I'm going E tier. Kind of like Bruce. And yeah. I wish he was better. A lot of people are saying C. This is the thing. I like him, right? Chat, I actually like him a lot, but he doesn't do much. His death had consequences. Yeah. This dream is like literally the epitome of the subjectively objective thing. Yeah, like this is a complete confusing mess as to how we try to do this. <laughs> I'm um, shocked by how many people are actually watching this. Yeah, I know. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> There's more viewers now than there were during the Act Man stream. What the fuck? <laughs> People want to watch this for some reason. Uh, F for fried E. Just listening to Sam was more of a character than actual character. On his S tier. Four AM. Yeah, it's actually late too. What's wrong with you? All right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we, we. I think. I think we're fair putting him there with what we've said before. I mean. He's significant in that his army helps defeat Olena, but I mean, the Lannisters probably could have done it anyway. Seemed to be a surprise attack was the point of it, I don't know. But that's like all he does. The only thing I'd settle for is he could go D tier, what do you reckon? Because we did put theater group person in D tier for saving Aya. Yeah, maybe D. Maybe we'll give him D because chat's gonna be upset. We don't upset chat. There is a little chat. Jon Snow, finally. Fuck. I want to put him in S, but at the same time, he got cheated out of his. Yeah, I want to put him in A just line. because of how he bent the knee so fucking quick to Daenerys. Oh, yeah, that too. Um, at the same time, I kind of want to. I win because I know he's going to kill Daenerys, and it's going to be really satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm okay. We'll leave him in A. Um, random religious man who talks to the Hound and gets killed in one episode. Who? Played, played by Ian McShane. I don't fucking know his name, I don't remember. Oh! Oh, him! I always think of him as the the dad from Hot Rod. Yeah, he's the dad from Hot Rod. <laughs> Can uh, I put him on Tywin level just because of that? 
<laughs> Honestly, I'm th I'm thinking movie. E to you. Yeah, because he doesn't do anything aside from talk and die. But he's, one episode. he's fun to listen to, he's a great actor, did a good performance, but the character only serves to make the hound mad, I guess. Because he dies. <laughs> Someone said literally who? <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing, he's only just above F tier, if not F tier. I love the actor 2 chat, mostly because of Hot Rod, but we can't, we can't put him <laughs> that high. <laughs> we, we go with E? We're gonna go with E. Alright, uh, what's the guy's name? He's like the Grand High Super Maester from Old Town, or, well, the, the Citadel that talks to Sam. Uh, I genuinely don't remember this person. Someone in chat will know his name. I remember him. He he just, he talks to Sam and gets him, uh, in... It, Was it, this from Season 7? The Archmaester? Well, his actual tier is, I guess. Not super maced. <laughs> is he is he the guy who just tells Sam you can't cure Dragon Scale and then Sam Arch proceeds to do exactly that? Archmaster Munkin. I don't think his name is Munkin. Lugworth, that's the Harry Potter. Ebros. Ebros is his name, that's it. Um but yeah, I he's like don't even remember him. He's like E tier. He doesn't do fuck all. He just he listens to Sam and he's like, Sam, you're wrong. That's about it. Yeah. We'll put him in E. Rob Stark. Ooh, I really like him. I think we're looking at A tier for that one. Yeah. How does chat feel about Rob Stark? Wonder if we're being uh, too nice or too harsh. Because he doesn't do... He's not ruined. He doesn't do anything that isn't in line with his character. And he is a really good character. Mm -hmm. I want to put him in A. Yeah, I mean, I, I put him in A. I'm happy with him in A. D for dead. <laughs> oh god, I'm sad to put this one up. Samuel Tarly. Oh, he's ruined. Yeah, they made he's him a ruined. coward. That's his arc. He's a coward who becomes a hero who becomes a coward. And then goes off and has a baby. It's like, cool. It's so sad after watching the Battle for the Wall episode. Because it, I completely forgot how great of a character he was. Oh, you know he what? He's just ruined. C tier, that's perfect. Like, it's built for him. Yeah. Goes in with Stannis, Arya, and Jay, and then stupid woman. <laughs> Forgotten her name. Elena? No, no. Uh, the person who was dating oh, Oberyn. Oh, right, right, no. No, Elena's the good one. <laughs> Elena's good, yeah. Uh, Catelyn Stark. Uh, what does she do? She hates John. Does hate yeah. John. She hangs out with the army. She releases Jamie. She's. I like her and Ned. Yeah, for the three scenes. I do like her. Together. She's a bit of a bitch, but I do like her. Yeah, but she doesn't exactly do much. I was supposed to chat thinking. A, A, C, A minus. I mean, even in the books, most of her contribution was through thoughts. We're looking at between A and C is where chat is looking. So does that place her? Is she above Hodor? I don't think she's above Hodor. Hodor? <laughs> Hodor, yeah, Hodor. Does that mean B tier? Because, is she on the yeah. same tier as Euron? I don't even know if I Here's Euron. Because most of what she does in the books is all conveyed through subtext, not actual actions, unless you can count uh, Lady Stoneheart. But Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you could argue that's a different character, and even then we're not counting the books, so... Are we thinking... She's self-aware of her unfair hatred? Um... Yeah, I don't necessarily have a problem with her hating John from a character standpoint. It's just like, I'm trying to think of what she does. I think it makes sense, she it's just she is kind of a bitch for it. Yeah. Are we thinking C tier then? I'm kind of leaning towards C tier. It's really complicated, and, and we're nearly done, we have two characters left. Uh, it's just that placing these at this point is becoming impossible. <laughs> uh, Maester Raymond. Remember who that is? Oh, guy from the wall? Yeah, blind blind guy, yeah. 
I like him. Hodor he doesn't tier? do love Hodor. I really do uh, like him a lot. He, he doesn't. Yeah, but he, he gets, gets he, he doesn't gets, do anything. He gets John, uh, the Night's Watch, Lord Commander position. Oh, uh, that's true. He does look after Sam a couple times, I think, where he can. Yeah, he gives good advice, but he doesn't do anything beyond that. I'm not sure he was really capable of doing anything in his position, though. He's only a maester in a in the wall. And blind. Also blind. Blind and bad. I'm okay with Hodor tier. I think, yeah, we'll leave him in Hodor tier. And the last character in this, this tier list, even though there's probably a couple more they could have done, Jack and Hagar. I'm trying to remember who... Oh, God, I yeah. assassin uh... friend. He's great in Season 2. Then he disappears. And then, and he's, then he's, kind nothing. Of, he's kind of weird, because we see him in Season 6 or whatever, but he's just, he's just weird. What does he do beyond help Arya get out of Heron Hall? That's the thing. Not much. He does kill everyone there, pretty much. Well, all the ones on he the... He makes her go blind. And that's it. Really, the I think wave it's... had more impact on Arya than he did. Yeah, which and she's not in this list for some reason. Why isn't she on the list? And all There's three a lot sand of snakes that could have included. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, they included the fucking play people, but not the wave. <laughs> I don't understand why that they put the play sense. people in here. I don't either. Um, E tier then? What was the E? I'm looking through D tier just to... No, I'd say he's on par with a lot of those characters. In the sense that he didn't do anything, he's just interesting. Where is Serio e Pharrell? No, yeah, Serio cool. Pharrell isn't even in here. Can we think of all the characters that aren't on here? It would be cool to like... Oh, oh, you know, the brother and the sister who went with Bran. Oh yeah, They're the... Not um... there. Reeds, Jojen Reed. For that matter, where the hell have they been? Or the or uh, the sister at least? He just left. This Bran season. was like, "You've done your job. Now fuck off, face." <laughs> and that they just completely forgot about her this season. Yeah, it looks like because you'd think she'd just stay. Like, why not? I don't know. Hot pie. He's not there. He's as tier definitely. The Anna Mormont and the Night King. That's true. Yeah. yeah so would we change? Not on there. Who who should be changed, chat? Let's see what let's see what some suggestions uh Gregor Kuglain Clay <laughs> Gain. Yeah. Well then again, he's not Oh my god, Pip and Gren aren't there. Wow, yeah. They missed out on a lot That's of characters. The... Yeah. Three eyed Raven. Mira... Yeah, I guess he should be there. Mir well, yeah, Mira's not exactly much of anything. Didn't include any of the Karth characters. Yeah, that's true. None of them are in there. Move right, Joffrey to S. On it, there's quite a lot. Are we happy where Joffrey is? Uh, I can't... I don't know if he's quite on par with S. I mean, I can see the argument. Oh god, Walder Frey's not even on there. Wow. <laughs> that's something they just forgot. He's way too important to not have on you. How could you forget Walder Frey? Where would Walder Frey go? Maybe like A minus. Yeah, because he's yeah, because he's like that little finger in Varus type in a way, and maybe not quite as intelligent as them, obviously. But people want Joffrey and uh, Theon in S tier. I don't know. I don't think Theon's quite S tier. Joffrey, I could see the argument, but Theon, I don't think he's quite strong enough. Little finger to A for Rollo's sake. Yeah, but little finger was ruined. If little finger's ending was, you know, not crap, he probably would have been, uh, like S tier or whatever. Does does the wall count as a character? <laughs> Jano Slint. No. Yeah, I mean, he he could or, have been on here. Oh yeah, he. I guess he. He could be the fat guy who dies. Rob should be S. Rob is an A. That's pretty strong. That's a pretty strong A. Uh... I'm 
I'm sure lots of people consider Daenerys being bottom tier unfair. <laughs> people keep saying Marin Trant, and it's like, uh, what did Marin do beyond, uh, he, he was a creepy dude that it dies almost immediately as soon as he's reintroduced. Where's Ollie? I'll show you how for the light gray. There you go, I fixed the list. Shireen? Oh yeah, I like Shireen. Oh yeah. It took me a second to remember who Shireen was. <laughs> Wiz old man. <laughs> Wiz Ollie, yeah, Ollie <laughs> should be in here. Ollie literally killed John, so he probably could have been fairly high and uh, eager at ghost as well. Yeah. Well, I can understand not having the dire wolves or dragons. They aren't exactly characters. I would like them there, just like I don't like the snakes are here. <laughs> could... <sighs> Does this wolf guy even know the story? No, no, I, I've never <laughs> seen Game of Thrones. Wait, what made them say that? I... I don't know. They're retarded, maybe? That's the best I can think of. Where's 1-1? Yeah, one, one? Oh, sh where is 1-1? One, one? That's true, 1-1 one, one deserves... I wonder if they'll update yeah. this list. There's so many more they could add. Where's the dogs? <laughs> There's a lot of people have been saying hot pie. And the Ju <laughs> Julia <laughs> Lee just said the pie. <laughs> the pie? <laughs> Crasta, yeah, that's another one. Oh, uh, yeah. I still can't believe the guy who killed uh, Jorah Mormont isn't on there. He had a pretty big impact. Geo Mormont. Where's the throne? Where's Thanos? <laughs> yeah, we could do this again once the actual show is finished, if you want to see how it's changed. And then maybe yeah, make a more consistent rule. Because this, this ruling, almost, our list almost seemed to be commits to actions and gets them done well, and is consistent. Alistair Thorne wasn't on this list at all, was he? Yeah, he was. Put him in A-. He was? Oh, he did? He's the only one in A-, oh, okay. that oh, might right, not belong right. in A-, I guess, maybe. A- is a compli- they're all complicated tiers. Oh, where's Reek? <laughs> <laughs> Dylan Payne? Yeah, that's another one. Uh, he just... Actually, whatever happened to Illin Payne? Uh, the actor got cancer, and then once he'd recovered, I guess they just didn't have him back. <laughs> That's what I've. I Nid so is you, upset about like, it. Do you think he went back and was like, "So can I have my role back?" And they're like, <laughs> "No." All right, <laughs> there's a handful of super chats. I'll try and read, and then uh, we'll finish up. I guess. Ed wasn't there. Yeah, you did say you were very upset. Ed and Pip oh, and I'm... oh wait, you said Gren. I said Pip. Gren and I just Gren yeah, all Pip. all three of them. Ed, why did I just call him N? Why am I retarded? Oh, and Yorin, yeah, the guy who saved Aya in season two. Well, I'm one. Who was Yorin? Oh, she, he was the one that said uh, who kept calling her boy and yeah, okay, I got it. Um, how have you been, my friend? Haven't seen you forever since Twitch. Hope your life's been well. It has been. And yeah, I don't stream on Twitch anymore, but uh... YouTube now. Jesus, how, how out of the loop is this guy? Probably out of the loop. There is no idea how this has even happened, because I used to stream and get like five viewers on Twitch, so... <laughs> it's probably like, why is this happening? I'll be like, I don't know. Where's Gandalf? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shrek 2 donated one dollar. <laughs> I just love that, that he's called Shrek 2. Shrek 2. <laughs> James Moore said, hi, Wolf. Hi. Uh, your eight hour streams get me through work. Thanks, boys. No problemo. When are you gonna show that thick twink ass wolf? What? That's your answer. Hopefully, you remember Nymeria since Game of Thrones doesn't. No wolves or dragons are allowed in this list, apparently. No, the dragons are. Wolves aren't. What dragons? Oh, you mean Daenerys? Dragons uh, in this list? Oh, I, I didn't mean the list. I just meant the show in general. Oh, right, right. 
A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Is the Nerevarine going to be on this list? Nerevarine? Who? Should be, from a better story. Lord Dio should be on the throne. Oh, it's like a different fiction, I guess. <laughs> Where's Ed Sheeran? <laughs> well, this is a surprise. Does this include the books? No. Hey, Muller and Wolf, I'm writing some scripts for a The Clone Wars analysis. The idea is, is go arc by arc, analyzing each one, and in the end, ranking in better or worse than TLJ. Any tips for a beginner? Yes, it's better than TLJ. Questionable? Uh, yeah, that sounds complicated. I'd recommend make sure you just watch the show a whole bunch and then make a shit ton of notes. And I, I'm just not going to watch the show and not have to deal with that. Are you going to advise the guy anything as an inspiring YouTube analyzer? Good luck, buddy. There you go. <laughs> That's if you have good luck, you'll probably succeed. That is good advice. Wolf, I have 14 broken super chats heading your way. That cool? Sorry in advance. I barely missed you guys yesterday. 14 broken super chats? I don't know what that means. I don't but get it. Go stream, Wolf, and then that guy can... Well, I can't do that for a while, so... I know nothing about Game of Thrones. I'm just here to support you guys, so enjoy my money. Well, thank you. Dario Pharrell trumps all these jabronis, and you know it. <laughs> Except yeah. for the time he died... Except for that to bit. Yeah. Tron. Edmir wasn't on here, that's true. Yeah. It should be really forgot a lot of characters. It should be Stannis. They remembered on... the people from the play, but they forgot Edmir and Ed and so many others. Jesus Christ. Bad people. They forgot about the play entirely. <laughs> it should be Stannis Tear on top, you cowards. If this was books, we might have done that, but it isn't. Uh, got here late. What are the criteria for grading? Writing? Impact? Acting? Honestly, I don't know. If you watch the stream <laughs> over, maybe you can come up with what we were doing, because I'm not sure what we were doing. I don't even know what, like, how we would go about doing this again and trying to standard for this. That'd be very difficult. Yeah, like, if we did most, because like, this is the thing, if we did most consistent, Rickon would score extremely high. <laughs> <laughs> So with the sad stakes, it's like, who wants to see that? <laughs> Nobody. And, and we can't say who's the smartest, because that would be a really... Maybe if we list. did most consistent and then enjoyability, as much Maybe as that's retarded. Maybe like, most impact and best written, kind of? Most consistent and most impactful put together. Like, they, they get a score so out of 10 for both of those, and then it averages out. But then, Ed wouldn't Mira's Ned Stark jail. wouldn't Ned Stark score really low with most impactful? Yeah, the list doesn't seem to work out very well. But it's but it's Sean Bean. Oh, he just goes high Sean. anyway. S is the <laughs> Sean just, Bean tier. He, he, yeah, S for Sean. The day after EFAP, Muller, I only have so much credit cards. Also, where would you put Raggers on this list, and why the hell is there no M rank? Um, we got another EFAP podcast coming up in a, a couple days. Well, it's all popping. Um, Rags would go on S tier because he's like a combo of the four people in S tier. You can see that about just, Rags, right? He would go on the G tier for gay. <gasps> An offensive. And why is there no M rank? Because, as you can see, the ranking system is perfect as it is. Not at all, Mauler, because none of the star <laughs> kids Medea. are in play as characters if Ned doesn't, if Ned lives. No War of the Five. I mean, they're kind of their own thing. Oh, everyone's kind of their own. I don't know if we count it as being responsible, relevant to the thing that they do if they're a kid of theirs. It's complicated. I don't know. Glad to see that y'all put Tywin Lannister in the correct tier. Tywin did nothing wrong. That is true. Or Beric. Hello, future me made a pretty good video rewrite of The Long Night, suggesting that the Night King should have been killed by Aya wearing Beric's face as a white to get through the crowd with John pulling aggro. I would have preferred that. Um, S rank for Ramsey's 50 good men. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, Beavs. Hello, Muller. I haven't seen you since Twitch, my bro. Oh, yeah, that's the same guy. Hello there. Gay. Book Stannis is Tywin tier. Yes. Why the hell is the one true king C tier? 
So sorry, but uh, don't ask us, ask the show why that's the case. Sir Pounce has a more character development than Tommen. Yeah, Sir Pounce wasn't on this list, which is kind of dumb. Who is Sir Pounce? It's Tommen's cat. Oh, right. That filled up <laughs> D tier, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, D tier is the most commonly filled uh, tier. I think the way it worked out, our tier system seems to have created what you would expect from a wide range. It's almost like a bell curve. The, yeah. C, the C tier is almost like a tier we remove and put in a different position of just the tier which they got fucked, or were only... Like, Catelyn's the only one in there. Maybe could be moved. It's a weird tier. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with Catelyn. I don't know, do I? Olena is a fucking meme. Oh yeah, we did read that one. Just make a W for who tier already. <laughs> we should do that next time, the who tier. <laughs> um... Friday night, we're off work, you massive goof. I mean, some people work Saturdays, and Fridays, and Mondays, and all the days. I was Oberyn in S, but Joffrey in A. He played that role perfectly, had almost the greatest impact of the show by killing Ned, and his death was the most satisfying. Um, how do we justify it, Wolf? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with Joffrey's whole deal, honestly. I just don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. When I think of Ned Stark and Robert Baratheon and the Hound and, um... Oberyn. Trying to blank on his name. Oberyn. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think of Joffrey on that tier. I, I can't give you, like, a good answer for it. I just don't think of him the same way I think as those four. I could totally see the argument to be put forth. Mm -hmm. But... We could be convinced. I don't know. I, I, I like him at an A. We could put it to a vote if you want. All right. See what people Speaking of which, what, what did that poll... Oh, it was still Rick on. <laughs> it was totally Rick on, yeah. All right. We'll have... Uh, Geoffrey. Uh, is that how you spell his name? J-E-O-F-F-R-E-Y? Is that it? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'll just put Joff so I can't be wrong. Well, they call him Joff like half the time in the book anyway, so... They do. S or A. Actually, we'll put in A- minus as well in case people feel that way. Oh. I can't take Wolf seriously with how little he retains in his memory. Implying <laughs> that Sir Pounce was a fucking really <laughs> great character that... It's interesting, your memory does seem to go fade out for like seasons five... And sort of six and seven. Well, season I guess. five, is, season five is so fucking forgettable. Well, that's the thing. Like, I don't blame you for that. It's like, yeah, like I genuinely, for a while, it was like tricked myself into believing that Bran was in season five, and then I realized along the way that no, he's literally not in that season. Mm -hmm. Like all I remember from season five is the John stuff, um, a bit of the Arya stuff. I, I don't even really remember what... Oh, right, because there was the Mask People with uh, Daenerys' storyline, and that went absolutely nowhere. Right, yeah, the Mask People. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, what happened in King's Landing? Oh, right, Cersei got... Uh, she had to do the March of Shame that season, didn't she? Season 6, I think, is the March of Shame. Season 5 is her gradual loss of power. Or am I wrong? Could be wrong. I thought that, because I know Season 6 ends with her blowing up all the, the Faith Militant. I thought that Season 5 was when she got the, the Shame Oh, shame yeah, thing. you might be right, actually. I'd have to rewatch it. I, I'm genuinely remember. trying to remember Season 5 here, and most of what I remember is just what John did. Alright, so Joffrey looks like we're significantly in the position of he he wants to be moved to S, so we're gonna push him in there. What you guys wanted, fine. Season 5, episode 10 is the March of Shame. Okay, so I was right. Oh, there you go. Let's continue. Since we're talking Game of Thrones, <laughs> have you guys heard of Nerd Soup? They made really good Game of Thrones videos until Season 8, Episode 3. After that, I wanted you two to debate them. <laughs> I'm gonna guess they liked Episode 3. The thing is, with How? a lot of Game of Thrones channels that cover every single episode, 
it, they don't necessarily want to engage in like criticism of that degree. A lot of the time, you'll find that it would they'd like to go here are some pros, here are some cons. Next episode, please. Um, uh, but what a, without way to look. Well, that's the thing. Without realizing, like, oh, this episode was really bad. Like, it, it almost feels like they're more invested in the idea that. That's just the status quo, moving on. No episode is any worse than any other, really, if you think about it. But they probably regret that now because, I'm assuming, I have no idea. It's just that, have we, is the conversation about Game of Thrones ever really positive now? Like, with anybody? It's like, no. Nerd suit nightmare. like TLJ. Well, well I, I know what channel I'm not going to watch then. They're allowed to like it, Wolf, you monster. Ah, uh, they, they're allowed to, but I'm also allowed to make a judgment on your intelligence if you liked it, so. Classic. I'm just saying, TLJ is just a, it's one of those movies, it's like, oh, you're one of those people, I got it. Where do you rank the Night King? Like a, like an F? Honestly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he just walks around raising the dead. <laughs> he doesn't yeah, really do well, anything like, else. He literally does nothing. And then on top of that, he dies in the stupidest way ever. He doesn't have an arc. We only know why he was created, not why he does anything he does. That's... <laughs> There's nothing to him. What do you do with the Night King? Oh, one out of 14. I need your reactions on this. Type in Shadow People and Other Scary Tales featuring Sam Basher. Wait, can you read that? Uh, type in Shadow People and Other Scary Tales featuring Sam Basher. How do you spell basher? Uh, A S H O R. Shadow people and other scary tales featuring Sam Basher. That's the guy who said he wanted to send you the broken super chats. I guess he's breaking them up. Uh, the Valley Cast episode sixty-eight. Do you know anything about this? No, but someone mentioned the Valley Cast in chat at some point. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of this. Oh, wow. Joffrey's actually winning with the S tier. Wait, sorry, what, what was, who was on it? Uh, Joffrey's, uh, pretty big on the S tier. Oh. I mean, fucking hell, everyone's lists are gonna be completely different from ours, I imagine. Or at least, significant. everyone should have Tywin at the top, that's obvious. If anyone didn't do that, they're just wrong. That reminds me, I'm in a ton of other streams because I just have a ton of different tastes. Like, I was in Fenna's stream because Wolf's recommendations, and I just found Jesse independent, and I like her stuff. Cool. That's from James Moore. Uh, hey, Mole Daddy. Hope you had fun. Wolf, you're a trash writer who is envious of the abilities of Chuck, Chuck Wendig. George, yeah. I stole all the RR from Tolkien, Martin, and Brian Johnson. Alright. I... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm very jealous of my hero, Chuck Dash Wendig. Wait, where's the Night King on this list? He's not on the list, Emma. 3 out of 14, the Valley Cast, episode 68 in YouTube search. 4 out of 14, bar and skip to or before 30 minutes. They talk about how Game of Thrones season 8, episode 3 was amazing. Ooh. I mean, I don't Do like, I really want to yeah, watch this? Yeah, I was going to say, you could just tell us <laughs> that. And we're just like, okay, then. <laughs> Le I, yeah, I don't know. The badass granny Tywin tier, Fedora Mormont, a a negative, uh, a minus. Wait, Fedora Mormont? I, I think they're saying that Olena and Jorah shouldn't be in these tiers. We had a little mixed reactions where, to Jorah being on A. Where a else would you put Olena aside from, I, I guess, S tier? Yeah, I mean, I'd sell for her being an S tier, but I, I don't know. I thought she was well, amazing. Where else would you put Jorah? I think people wanted him in A, but this super chat sounds like they want him lower than Odor tier. I don't know. He's not lower than Hodor. Uh, Wolf, did you like the wolf head on Rob Stark? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they were sad. That was season 3, from episode 10, I think. Uh, wouldn't most of the community be on G tier? 
most of the community, like which our community, community? <laughs> the, the Game of Thrones community, maybe because that that depends on which part of the Game of Thrones community you're looking at. Uh, six toxic nerds need to leave creators alone and let them make their own creative choices. Right. Sorry if for the. If we go by Wolf's logic, then I'll just stop watching Wolf's channel for saying 90 percent of Nintendo games are the same. Or when he compared The Last of Us to The Walking Dead. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't care. I mean... I, I, I mean, I... I would compare The Last of Us to The Walking Dead because it's very similar. I think that's relatively fair. As for Nintendo games being 90% the same, do you mean, like, within their own series? Or do you mean just uh, in sorry, general? What'd you say? Uh, Nintendo games being 90% the same, do you mean within their own line of games, or do you mean as a whole? Oh, no, I, I wouldn't compare Mario to Zelda, stretch. You, but you mean within their own sort of lines? Yeah, like, well, I mean, from my experience, I mean, I granted, I, I, I mean, I'm just not interested in Nintendo, like, at all. I mean, the best one I've seen is Breath of the Wild, which looks like kind of an Assassin's Creed slash Zelda slash maybe Witcher, but I don't care to buy a Switch for one game. So, yeah. Atlan is A tier justice for Cat. I mean, we could do a community vote for that one because I have no idea what I, Yeah, I, I, genuinely, I genuinely don't know what because I like her character, but I don't know what she does, and I don't know, because she definitely isn't the same as Stannis or Arya. I mean, I want to say, in effect, she's worse than C, but that doesn't feel right. I don't know. Uh, I genuinely don't know what to do with her. She's a very complicated character. We'd really have to narrow down this criteria to be able to... <laughs> be able to answer these questions. Her. Yeah. Give me that thick twink butt, Wolf. No. Um... Combined message was three hundred dollars. I'll make it up. Make it up to all of you when I'm no longer twenty k in debt. Also, is that from uh, James Moore? No, these are all the broken ones. But the broken ones are all two, and there's fourteen apparently. They're all one message. Of, uh, I've been reading it separately, but I'm still trying to. <laughs> I'll make it up to all of you when I'm no longer twenty k in debt. I would also have sent this during EFAP thirty four when it would have made sense, but I was held up at work by a customer who wouldn't stop asking stupid questions. There we go. Okay, and standing. Uh, guy from TCW thingy. Hope my video never gets EFAPed. Guy from TCW thingy. The Clone Wars. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh, I think he's. You think he's addressing the guy who's talking about the Clone Wars? I'm not sure. I mean, I I have no interest in watching the Clone Wars, so I, I doubt I'm gonna watch a video on the Clone show. So maybe one day, if everyone tells you it's the best fuck. Well, they already have. So no, I mean the video. Oh, the video. Videos. Oh, I don't know what. Dennis I don't know what video he's Euron talking Paul. about. So. We could do a Stannis poll and a Euron poll. With Stannis, I guess I'll... What would the choices be for Stannis? People are... I think... And nobody wants well, him to go any I, lower. Well, here's the thing is... A lot of the people want him to go higher, but... Unless you're only basing it off the books, which we're basing it entirely off the show... I mean, he can't really go higher. Because he was ruined, and that's why we put him at that spot. Yeah, Euron, right. I'm willing to see the argument because I genuinely don't like it, it's this. It's kind of the same thing with Catelyn. I don't know where to put him. I just want to see what people are thinking with Stannis. In terms of effectiveness, he's definitely above Catelyn, though. There, you may vote for Stannis, but I don't think this is going to change anything because I don't see how we what we said is kind of unfair. Honestly, I think he's lucky he got it to see, like because he was he was butchered. Yeah. Change C tier to ruin tier. The thing is, Catelyn wasn't ruined. C tier is complicated. Ruined? Not really, but she had a turn that was quite significant. That she, in season two, she's very much seems to be very different than in 
and four and three. Um, we will we can do a poll for Catelyn as well, I guess. Oh, it looks like the majority of the votes for Stannis are C. So. Oh really? Yeah. Huh. And then Euron. So where is Euron right now? B. E. Oh, you made a Euron? No, I'm about to. Uh, ah, I got you. We'll we'll make the options A minus Hodor. A and B. But we'll make sure that uh. How's the Stannis one doing? Yeah, it looks like C's one out. The C's oh. have it. And then this one is for Euron. So anyone listening who's like, I would like to vote on Euron, click this. See what you think. Because, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much meh on, on where I'd put Euron exactly. I'm not even sure. Um, okay. Yeah, that really depends on how you grade him. That's what a broken ch super chat is, Wolf. Sorry, but I'm a little broke right now, but I still want to help. Ah. That was 15 out of 14. Yes. <laughs> um, so this question is thoughts on It Part 2 trailer. Um, we're gonna... I'm planning on recording me, hopefully me, you and Rags, but we're gonna have to do this quickly because you're gonna leave. <laughs> like, um, wait, you've got a... I like how the... long have you got before? A week, right? It's a week, but I... I pretty much only got Sunday off between... Oh, well, even if uh, I can get you for like half an hour at some point. Yeah. Then we can do... Because I was going to do the, the, the It 2 trailer, the Sonic trailer, and apparently there's a new Toy Story trailer. We could just do those three in the same thing. And even the if it you've seen them... The only good one. Yeah, well, that's the thing, right? It's supposed to be good, bad, and then possibly middle ground. Uh, yeah. The only thing that annoys me is that Bill isn't bald. They did it with the 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 mini series too. They didn't make him bald. The book explicitly says he goes bald. Either way, I don't know. I don't know why they can't do it. Save thoughts for that, because otherwise, you know, I'm interested. It's, good. it's really, really, really good. Wolf, someone I'm told happy. you to skip a couple World of Time books. Don't even do it. Or oh, Wheels of Time, is it? Wheel of Time. Gosh. Uh, don't do it. Even if they were bad, it would ruin your subjective experience of the later books. Well, I mean, I heard that 8, 9, 10 are the, the three that are universally considered the bad ones. Uh, and 10 is, like, the worst. And I've seen all across the internet that you could just read the Wikipedia article. It's, it's about as effective as just reading the book. But, yeah, I, I don't plan on skipping any of them. Because I want to read all 15. The, would you kindly move Theon for S? <laughs> <In chat. laughs> um, uh, where's Euron sitting now? He's D. At, ooh, D. Really? Apparently, people want him Where in D. Him? Then you got Straw Poll be damned. Euron should be Tywin tier. He got exactly what he wanted. I mean, this is the thing though. Euron gets a lot of things done. He killed a dragon very easily, destroyed Daenerys' fleet. Very easily, or at least a part of it. And I don't even hate him. Like, when he killed the Sand Snakes, he was, like, my favorite character for a few seconds. That's why I kind of think, like, B-tier is kind of fair. I might be partial to a C-tier, but I can't really justify it. Yeah, everyone feels like yeah. he should be in D-tier. Got a lot that's... of Euron hate. I think that's just the fact that writing is so bad that people... And that's the thing, I, I wouldn't blame weird, anybody. like, wizardy dude in the book, isn't he? Yeah, he's awesome in the book. Like a little wizard, yeah. And uh, the actor that plays Euron said he would, he was more interested in playing that character, but what can you do? You could tell the writers <laughs> to do something better. I don't think it's gonna work. Those two are so far up their own ass, I don't think they could see daylight anymore. Uh, Amelia Clark wandered around London for hours because of that script i can't believe that i feel like she'd have the the poll to be able to have changed it or at least how to did complain no how did nobody tell them the rest of the cast is like universally against this script and none of them said anything 
come on, guys. If you're all against it, that's got to say something. How many people want Theodid SD? <laughs> I mean, I really like him. I don't. I wouldn't have a problem with him being right. an S tier. I just uh, look at A tier. A tier is not some kind of lame tier. I mean, we got Jon Snow, we got Rob Stark, we got Jamie, Egret, Cersei, Brienne, and uh, 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 Ramsay. I was gonna be so mad at myself if I couldn't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll we'll do this again once Wolf comes back from his three week holiday. It'll be Better give my boy yeah. Ned his own tier. Um, I mean, he's, you know, he's, uh, that's a pretty good we, tier. We all know that Sean Bean has his own tier in everything. Yeah, this he's is... He's got a literal website dedicated to him. And how many people can say that outside of Sean Bean and EFAP? Well, a lot of people can say <laughs> they got their own website, but Sean Bean is the only one with a website that's titled literally don'tkillseanbean.com. <laughs> you imagine the jokes once he actually dies in real life? People just gonna be like, oh my god, fucking... This is the last time we'll ever see him. You know, because people will be sad, but I mean, it'll be too tempting to make be memes. Sad. Yeah. Uh, uh, I still want that movie to come out where everyone except for Sean Bean dies and he just has a really nice day. Yes, we should make that movie. You'll never star in it, but that, that can be our debut movie. <laughs> it could be just like Sean Bean's happy day. <laughs> can we have an EFAP guest rating? Like we did EFAP guests in the fucking tier list. Oh god, that would be I don't think we could do that. It would be too mean, we wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> yeah. If it was just done by vote though, that would be funny. Like we just keep uh remaking votes and say, like, well, this is objective, we're not doing it, we're not touching it. As you can tell by my name, I was tickled to hear Wolf the other day say Bucky was his favorite in the MCU, so here's my money. Person's name was Winter. Ah. Uh, yeah, I really like the Winter Soldier. Wolf, I asked this a couple of EFAPs ago after you left, but that massive mauler lost it. Probably adopted. <laughs> <laughs> um, dash thoughts on dash iron dash man dash three dash. It's shit. Why do people keep asking you that? Is it the same guy? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. He thinks it's really bad. It's a very strange one. And, um, Especially since I've never really... It's... You've talked way more about Iron Man 3 than I ever have. Yeah, I have a big stake in hatred. But I mean, you you even had this answer on your uh, your Game of Thrones rage. Uh, rage. Yeah. Yeah, someone just randomly asked me what Iron Man, what I thought of Iron Man 3, and I was just like, shit! Wolf Very strange. will quill my angry titties. What? Eric Stewart asks a lot of strange questions. The Wendigo is a bad writer, but is he worse than the authors who wrote Cracklin' Puddin' into Disney Star Wars lore, where they have a full page of farting at a wedding? Give us legends. Wait, what? I guess there's apparently a whole page of farting at a wedding in some kind of Star Wars lore, and so Chuck Wendig surely isn't worse than the people who did that. I mean, I heard that Chuck Wendig literally put, like, his fart fetish into his books, so... I Granted, I can't confirm this, because I've only read uh, what I read in that video, but there's a dude who was really... Uh, who was in the comments who apparently did read all of the books, or at least the first one, and he was really fervent in telling every single person in the comments, like... Uh, that he put his fart fetish in the book, and it was like, oh, that's really disgusting. <laughs> the most Why would you do that? allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, allegedly. But I, I mean, it's Chuck Wendig, so I don't, I don't think it's that big of a stretch. That's filled with a bunch of cucks. Laugh my ass. Mola, do you? What do you question in your life? Um, everything. Literally everything. I don't even know if Wolf is here for sure. This could just be an AI. Yeah, I could be a different person. That AI. Yeah, that too. I think AIs are people. <laughs> um, Oberon and Dogman at Bobby's level. Oh no, 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 no! Look at this, dude. I mean, I don't know, man. Bobby, Bobby, Oberon, and 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 you said Dogman. I mean, yeah. It, 
it seems to make sense to me. Hound is pretty awesome. Um, is it the same guy every <laughs> time? Back. Wets nervously. Oh, so so Zach Gilbert probably has been asking this every time, but he's he's changed his question this time. Thoughts on Iron Man two? <laughs> so it's uh, it, it's like the Smiler guy always asking. Was asking Wars what? Prequels. Oh, right, the stall. Yeah, yeah, Nickelback and Halo Four as well. <laughs> uh, what was the question? Iron Man Two. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. He doesn't like it. I mean, it's better than Iron Man Three, but yes. that's a super low bar. <laughs> yeah, it was the lowest bar until Black Panther, and then until Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Good old MCU. Bobby Baratheon needs his own tier above Tywin. How dare you? Everyone needs their own tier, let's be honest. Um, is the special guest on Monday Wolfbot? It is to be announced. Yeah, you can have like a Scotty, uh, Scotty, Scotty Cena Wolfbot version. Well, really good at po pokey, pokey. Yeah, he would have won too if you three didn't decide to gang up on him. In, I'm sorry, I can't let AI take over. Man has to have at least one hand on the wheel, you know. <laughs> I loved watching that stream afterwards, just seeing Rags, like, really start to lose his shit over it. <laughs> R R Rags, hate Rags just wanted to win, though, poor man. It's a long game. The uh, grouchy gamer as well. The gods, what a stupid day, more wide. The fucking scene where... Rob Baratheon finds out his, like, the guy giving him wine this whole time was named Lancel. It's like he didn't even know. And he's like, he says something like, like what whore named you? <laughs> Some shit. <laughs> I love Robert Baratheon, he's amazing. The smiley guy heard you, wolf. Yeah. Smiley guy's, <laughs> al smiley guy's always there to ask me about Halo 4 and Nickelback. Yeah, you gotta repent. I don't know why, because I can, I can picture... Why Nickelback? Why Nickelback? That is a strange... Like, I mean, uh, you could make an argument for episode three. Like, a, a, I mean, episode three, I like it. I don't think it's good, but I like it. Halo 4, there's some good things about it. But Nickelback, really? Like, why is that the thing you're going to die on? <laughs> why is that the hill you want to go down on? It's Nickelback. Nickelback is S tier. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, thank you all for for hanging out. I don't know why people enjoyed this so much, but apparently they did. Um, maybe we'll randomly do them in the future as well. I'll upload this onto Moolah. Just call it what the title is, I guess, uh, so people can check it out. Um, and yeah, other than that, you know, uh, thanks for the donations. Hope you had fun, and we will catch you. Well, I will catch you on Monday at. Like I think it's like 9.30 a.m. BST I think like super early for Americans and then thanks this was terrible <laughs> <laughs> as long as you had some fun that's all the bad but yeah we'll see you for the next EFAP on Monday if you miss it well, it'll be on Moolah you, you missed will. Super I Chats sh I shan't did I miss Super Chats? I got missed a couple which ones? it was like right before let me scroll up Find them. Okay. How would you rank Tywin Lannister with other film TV protagonists? Oh, like super high. He's like one of my favorite fictional characters ever. I think he's amazing. I don't know. I'd have to really think on that because film and TV. Ooh, that there's so many. Certainly Definitely high. Definitely high, but I'd really have to think on that. And then there's another one saying, to be fair, you have to be very high IQ to understand atheism. <laughs> Dude who jerks off to poo poo pee pee and puts what it in the canon Star Wars books. Yeah, that, that sounds like something Chuck Wendig would say. Chuck Wendig said uh, that? Oh. I mean, I don't know. Sounds like something he'd be cocky enough to say, make the rest of us look like tards. Um, Although the rest of us are smart enough to call him out for being a tard, so... Yeah, Tywin, on a personal position, he's like my third favorite fictional character. Still pretty high, though. That's a lot of characters. Ooh. That's like a weird combo of him and the book as well, as well as the show, but if I had to be like completely stative about it, I'd be like, okay, book one still scores... Uh, film one... Bleh. 
Go one still scores extremely high. And it's a combo of the, the performance and just the writing for him, I think. Um, especially if you find out all of his history, too. Fantabulous. Please make a guest list with a T tier for Tonald. <laughs> Should we have named D tier Daddled? Yes. Daddled tier. God, I, I, I went back to that recording earlier today just to see the Daddled part. <laughs> also, the, I haven't missed any now, right? Oh, oh wait, outside of the uh, There's one more. Despite being 13% of the musical population, Nickelback is responsible for 50% of bad music. I doubt they're 13% of the musical population, but I agree with the second part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Adios, and yeah. Okay, good. Excellent. It's been fun. Uh, we're going to head out now. I shall see you guys in the future. Goodbye. And I shall see you in the further future.